Testing. We're back. Audio. Oh, I can't. I can't hear it, but you guys can. Okay, now I can hear it at least. Okay. Let's uh let's hop back into Van Life Farm. Oh, dude, Farley. He looks so good with the trucker hat. I love it. We've already put in 36 hours. Not nearly enough. I'm I'm really enjoying the role play more than I thought I would. So I really want to get more dogs. I want to take care of business. There we go. Okay. <sighs> it's the first day of summer. I remember now. Okay. Bookseller is on the 12th. And then again on the 27th. Trout Derby. You know, I participated in the Squid Fest and I don't remember it being all that exciting, but look, I'll do the Trout Derby. I'll do it. And do I need to do the Luau? I might attend the Luau for the friendship points. Okay. Yeah, what, what am I going to do today? <laughs> Super happy spirits. Like, it would be a good day to go to the mines. Like, Skull Cavern? We could do a Skull Cavern run. I got 99,000. I could get a bunch of bombs. But first, we gotta take care of the dogs. I got it. Okay. We got, we've got business to attend to. Oh, I... Look at this. What? I gotta, I gotta start coming up with a better plan for coffee. I was hoping to get the dumb coffee maker from Evelyn, but we literally did not get 12 leaks. We only got 10. Okay. Yeah, we're back. We're back in business, baby. With the dogs. The dino and the dino. And the rabbits. They all have the best names ever. <laughs> and the best uh, tortoise. Named Tordo. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, no. Do I have to come in here and handle this? <laughs> I don't want to deal with some of this. Um, oh, we got to we got to move the bowl, right? I think Moose, we're going to move him over here. This is Tordo. Oh, that's Coors Light, by the way. But this is, yeah, Tordo's Bowl is here. And this is Snarts. Yeah, Snarts is our first dog. And then didn't I get, yes, okay. We got the heater. We got the auto grabber. And we got these hay bales. I should take care of that. It is time. And then... There you go. Oh wow, we got some of these trees popping up. Hardwood, we need as much hardwood as we can get for all the, uh, the dog bowls. We're living the dream. Yeah, Starfruit is going. I think it's Wednesday Starfruit will be done. Uh, 
Um, oh wait, it's down here. Oh, I need to I need to save all the eggs because we have this. We need one more egg. Actually, shouldn't shouldn't we have it by now? Oh no, we don't. But I have to save them anyway. Um I might want to upgrade this. Because, hold on, let me double check this. Oh, only the deluxe coop has the auto feed system. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> There's so much that we can do. This is crazy. We gotta go to the, we gotta go Joja and, and purchase the community center rewards to unlock you know, the the boat and some other stuff. Um, it would be nice to go to the desert. Hold on. I'm debating if I want to go... We might as well. I'll run into town. Daisy, my favorite dog. What is this nonsense here? The best. The bestest dog. I don't play favorites except with Daisy. All the other dogs, they know that. And they don't take it personally. It's like being... Like living in a community of humans. And then there's one elf. Like, I'm, you're just not gonna live up to the elf. You know what I mean? The elf is in a league of its own. Alright. A red mushroom. Let's do it. We got it. We got to get more of these prize tickets. Hey, Pierre. How about that? Um, oh, I do need a melon seed for the... Yeah. Yeah, there's so much that we can do. This is crazy. And red cabbage. I don't think I've grown any red cabbage yet. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll grow a bunch of red cabbage on the farm. We need this, yeah, for the... <laughs> what is it? The, the, the frog in uh, on Ginger Island. We might need... Melons. Actually, I might grow a bunch more melons. Because for gifting with Penny, I want to get some gold melons. So we'll just grow a bunch of melons. And was there anything else I want to do today? I have so I have tons of money. So We'll go, we'll purchase a community center upgrade. Um, I guess we'll do bridge. Oh, let me check the special orders board. See what we can get. Uh, river fish or bone. This one is much easier to, easier to do once we get to Ginger Island. I don't know. We can do this one maybe. Let's see. What's the twenty river fish? We can plan for that. Okay. 
And I do want to make a Skull Caverns run at some point. What is this concept you call private property? That's right, dwarf. You've never been to America. <laughs> Welcome to freedom. L let, my name is Farley Juice McGregor, and I'm here to teach you about the invisible hand, free market economy. Oh, wait, what is this? Hey, I'll take that. Thank you very much. So yeah, the, the problem is now, look, the bombs cost <laughs> a lot more. Uh, they used to be 600, and now they're 1,000. Oh, I'll get this rare crow as well while we're at it. And we'll get a recipe. I do need at least a hundred of them, which is a hundred thousand. But it's worth it when you do a, a solid skull cavern run. It it it's totally worth it. I do need staircases though. But I uh, but I need iridium to make the the crystallariums. Look, we got to spend the money. We got to spend it. It hurts, but we got to spend it. Oh, yeah. Let me read this book. New power. Where are my powers? Which one? This one. The Dwarvish Safety Manual. <laughs> I like this. I mean, I like this edition in 1.6. Like, I think, yeah, Concerned Apes maybe saw how people were playing using the bombs. Uh, and that's like the best strategy for getting deeper into the mines because you blow up a bunch of nodes in a few seconds rather than having to manually break them all. And this, I think, is a nice little power-up to help. Although, to be fair, the, the bombs deal so little damage already. And I... Oh, I need to... Oh, actually, that's another thing I got to do. I got to go... Uh, I got to run back into town. I See, I'm getting like... Uh, what is it? Not stream of consciousness, but one thought leading to the next. I guess that is stream of consciousness, but I, I need to go to the uh, to Gus to get salads. I was talking about how whenever I go, I just make sure I bring a lot of food with me to the Skull Cavern. And so it's really not a big deal to have to take damage from the bombs, but it's a nice power up. We'll take it. I typically go for the salads. Um, we already got the recipes. I feel like I need more coffee as well. Um, but yeah. Yeah, these aren't that expensive. I get a hundred of them. Love it. Love to see it. Now we can just drink coffee like there's no tomorrow. We've got purple short sign right there for Mayor Lewis. In his favorite location. I should also go by... I need to... I think I, I'm going to bring some wood and go upgrade the farmhouse. And we'll also move some buildings. Let me do that real quick. How much? I think I need literally one more wood. <laughs> um, just to be on the safe side, I'm going to bring the hardwood and stone. Because you never know... There we go. And we have enough 
um, what is it? Kegs. We have enough kegs. Every time we do a round of starfruit, we can quickly process them. Okay. Stop. Oh, wait. Yeah, I'm looking at... What does she got for me? I don't need these recipes yet. I'll save my money. But I also want to move. We got to rearrange the bowls. Okay, we need... We need to move this one over here. Yes. Because this one is snarts. And this is moose. We also need goose. <laughs> um, but I don't know. We, I got to slow down on the dogs at the moment. I think I think I want to focus more on just getting the economy going. And yeah. But I. But that there is a good question of like where would we want to put, you know, more stuff. I could grow some some melons there. I might I mean I could put the dog just right over here. That could be a good spot actually. Let me see. Oh, the big coop. I'm just going to leave it as as a small coop for now. I like the difference. Right, like we could buy another, we could buy another one of these. <laughs> Which one do we get? Another one like that. I'm just gonna pre-place it over here. Perfect. This actually would be exactly where we where we would want it if we built another doghouse here. Boom. All right, now let's upgrade the house. 450 pieces of wood. Good. Because we want to start decorating some of the rooms. Um, but I was thinking about fishing. And, I mean, we've got... Emily wants a red mushroom. Let me let me grab that and give it to her. I'll also grab my fishing rod and we'll do some fishing for river fish today. And it's summer. Oh yeah, we also got this rare crow. I want to make sure I save one melon in here. These are the three that we need in Ginger Island. And oh, I do actually want to plant stuff. Maybe I'll do that instead today. Yeah. These take nine days. These take 12. I'm only pausing to think about where I want to put them. I'm going to make a melon patch over here.
Oh no. Okay. There's so many, there are too many trees. <laughs> This, yeah. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. 12, 13, maybe that's enough. Because we can also do like two rounds of them as well, so. Oops, scraps, can you please sleep somewhere else? I'd appreciate if I could plant these animals, this is the most accurate representation of pets in the world. You know what? I have an idea. I think if I go in the, in the farmhouse, he teleports. Just kidding. He sleeps on the farm. Oh, okay, he did teleport. Good. Like that. I gotta place a scarecrow down. I can't... Wait, how many is that? <laughs> Two, four, six, eight... 10, 12, 13. That was all. Okay. Let's put a scarecrow. Let's put one here. And then one here. Actually. Move them one over so I can see a little better. Okay. We got a melon field. And yeah, we used about 50. So that, that should be perfect. Midsummer, we can rotate the melons. Over here, though. Yeah, I really need some iridium bands. This is just getting a little ridiculous. Oh, not, not the melons. I want to do the red cabbage. Man, I really, whoops. Is that one, two, three, four, five, six, that, okay.
We almost got all the rare crows now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We just need the casino one. Okay, we gotta bring a red mushroom to Emily. Because that's an easy fetch quest, you know? Some of these other ones that ask you to like catch a fish or something, those are a bit more out of the way, unnecessary. Also, we should be done with the eggs. All right. Oh my gosh, look at all the animals. We need to get an auto petter. I like that Torto is just asleep. He's like, yeah. Let me water these pet bowls. <laughs> I think all the eggs now will be in here. Yeah. And the duck feather. Yeah, we gotta go turn in all these eggs. <laughs> so many eggs. Although we can save, I think, at least one. But I don't know. I, I don't want to worry about counting, right? We can just... Good work, Robin. Oh yeah, we need a red mushroom. We'll bring her a gold quality one. Cause we're fancy. All right. That away. Uh, fishing, we should get the fishing stuff. Get that deluxe bait. Um, it doesn't look like we have, we don't need the fishing. I was thinking about the fishing, uh, soup for the, the bonus. What am I forgetting? We'll deliver this. We'll turn in that. We'll do that. Oh, you know, I did forget to check the luck. If it's a super lucky day. Neutral. We have another day on that star fruit. I don't think I can get into. Yep. That is fine. We will just fish for a bit. Oh, yeah. Emily doesn't come out, I think, till 11 anyway, so. And all the, uh. the eggs. We can't turn those in until afternoon. Because the saloon doesn't open up. Till noon.
I mean, we could adopt another dog. But it's Tuesday. Isn't Marnie closed? Or wait, I can still access her her shop now because I have the power. What we got. I already have this one. Here we go. I really like this bait. It really does make the worm bin useful now. Yeah, we got to get level 10 of fishing, so this is good fishing experience anyway. Oh, hey, get back here. There you go. So you saw the bulletin I posted. It looks perfect. I gotta remember to do the southern accents. <laughs> Here's your payment. As as promised. Wait, let me just Okay, we got that. This is put it in Gus's fridge. Okay, we gotta wait till noon. And okay, we'll just keep We'll keep doing this. Pike. This is a pike. Yeah, this is so much faster with the bait. Two extra. You better enjoy those eggs. That was a lot of money. I feel like 24 eggs is worth more than 3,000 gold. Or at least if I turned it all to mayo, then for sure. So now we're just, yeah, biome balance. We can, we can finish that today, actually. We made a little space for ourselves here. We got a prize ticket. Let's spend it. Oh, we get the fish smoker. How about that? I mean, we already have one. <laughs> and, uh... 
Yeah, I don't know. The fish smoker... I don't know how keen I am on it yet. I mean, I guess I like it in the sense that if you want to go early game fishing and just focus on making money doing fishing, then the fish are a lot more valuable now if you have access to a smoker. Iridium bands. I don't think I can even craft those Iridium bands yet until I get my combat level. Is it level 9 or level 10? How many more of these fish? One more. And we got another prize ticket. Let's take it. I like the prize tickets. I think it makes it makes things a little bit more dynamic and interesting in the town, like doing favors for people, getting those tickets. I already have it. I already have it. I may have already gotten that, but I need another one. Or I needed, I, you need at least two of those for crafting. One for crafting, one for turning in. Yeah, let me see here. Yeah, so I've already turned in this artifact. And where was the other? I've... I'll go ahead. Yeah, I'll leave it here. I'll leave these artifacts here so I don't clog up my chest at home. Okay. Hey, what a successful day. We did two special orders board, special orders board quests. <laughs> we did two in a day. That's kind of nice. I don't know if I've ever done that, completing two in the, in the same day. All right, and we got fish, river. This is river. I 
the way. And the fish smoker. I already have one. But I'll keep I'll keep an extra one here. And did I put the No, I didn't put them here. Daisy. Oh, I need to water her bowl. I'm sorry, I forgot. Yes, we can start making mayo again. Although, I don't know, I might leave it. I, it's really not worth the time to be making and selling mayo when we have star fruit. So I'm just basically going to be checking the TV for a good luck day and we can go to the mines. Let me see, do I have, I don't have a desert warp totem, do I? Nope, unfortunately. Okay, but I do have a question. If I pass out in the mines, like in the desert mines, how much money will I lose? Because there was a, a note in the uh, the release patch notes about how the it's been increased from 1,000 gold to 15,000 gold. And I'm wondering, is it worth it to give up an inventory spot to have a farm warp totem to get me home? Or should I just pay that 15,000 and just see what happens? I don't know. We'll worry about it another day. Actually, Starfruit should be ready today, so... That is nice. Oh, wait, I don't think I re... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The kegs are the kegs are available. Let's see. Fortune teller. Neutral. So yeah, the twelfth we want to go out for the bookseller. I haven't decided if I wanted to do the luau. Oh, I haven't even been getting these the peaches. Forgot. Yeah, these are ready. Oh, I need to get the um the starfruit seeds. Nature is usually good at keeping things balanced. The science magazine. We got the farm computer recipe. I was also very lucky it co coincided with getting the dwarf gadget from the artifact troves. And hey, we got that. That's nice. That'll be useful when we get a kitchen we don't have yet pet these adorable animals water their bowls yeah Just put the, the mini fridge in here. It can only be placed in a house or the kitchen. Okay, well, we'll add it here then. <laughs> we, it's coming. The kitchen is on its way. All right.
There you go. Maybe it's a good idea to start pruning back some of these trees. And uh, let's check our skills. Yeah, we're almost level 10 in so many of these skills. Oh, wait, I need to get the, um, the star fruit. We gotta start the star fruit. Oh, wait a second. I'm also gonna collect that. Yeah, something is different. Something's different about the way the seeds get planted in the ground. I don't know how to ex It's like it's missing spots that it wouldn't it wouldn't have missed in 1.5. We'll just save these star fruit in case we need them for gifts. I think like Demetrius or Kent maybe wants one. All right. I'm gonna come cut, chop down some trees. We'll need the wood for projects. I, kinda, I like that tree there. We'll keep it. Hopefully my magnet ring is strong enough. No! 
<laughs> I can't get that. I don't have another magnet ring. Might as well just donate it to the, the little pond. Oh, actually, none of it fell in. That's pretty nice. There's a lot of little, like, debris. We got apricots, and we needed two of them, so that's perfect. One to make jelly. And then one is a gift. Make sure I didn't leave any. Yeah. There. Wait, was it? It wasn't jelly. It wasn't apricot jelly. It was apricot. Uh... No, it was apricot. Pres okay, that's crazy. We need five of them. I need to get an apricot tree. I should just go buy all the trees. Yeah, dried apricots. We need to put them in the dehydrator, which means we need five of them. I was thinking we needed just one. Oh, no. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, but we'll be fine. I'll go to Pierre tomorrow, and we'll just get a bunch of trees since we have the money. We might as well start growing the trees in the greenhouse. Apricot. Is that a fall? Or is that spring? I'm gonna guess spring. But don't I need to give one to somebody? Fresh fruit. Emily wants an apricot. We can bring that to her one day. Did I water your bowl? I can't see. I think I did. All right. We got an achievement. I don't know what it was. Let's see. Was it like earn a certain amount of money? 
moving up. Oh, it was upgrading the home. <laughs> it was just, yeah, upgrading the, the farmhouse. Let's check our fortune if it's good humor, but I want super good luck today. I need, I need the super good luck. Hey, Daisy. I'll water your bowl. Hold on. What, what am I doing here? There we go. There we go, okay. Oh, I need a scarecrow. Also, that one's not growing. Just give me this rare crow. We're actually, I don't want to lose this one. The easiest one to replace. It's probably this, this one. Or maybe this one? I can just go and buy it again from the, the dwarf. All right, animals. Are you enjoying this? The free range you have here. Snarts looking good. Torto, you too. Moose, love it. I'm just gonna let the eggs accumulate for a bit. <laughs> so dumb. Actually, I wanna see my uh, animal friendship. Look at that. Daisy, Tordo, Moose. Oh my god, so many. We got Fireball, Gunny, and George. We got Michelob, PBR, Miller Light, Carhu 3, <laughs> Keystone, Coors Light, Bud Light, and Lone Star. These are the lucky rabbits. Gotta give them lucky names. Demetrius sent me a bream. Yeah. Where do I keep the bream? I would probably put it... Yeah, it's not... It might be here. No. I want to put it with the river fish. That's normally where I would put it. Okay, we're going to go to Pierre and buy the um, the fruit trees. One of each. Though, uh, I guess it's not a big deal, I guess. I was thinking about... Okay, I'm going to show you the pro why I just cringed just now. Because I'm like, oh no, I got to deal with this. I can't place any trees back here because these sprinklers are here. And uh, and so I guess I'll, I don't like, I can put them on the side. I can put them on the side, that's fine. And we bring Emily an apricot. I mean, is there anything else? I could actually go and purchase an, another dog. I like that idea, actually. Another dog house. And just place it over here. Yeah. We'll extend the patio. We'll extend the patio. We need another dog house and dog, obviously. We've already got moose. We need to get goose. Uh, supply shop, first of all. I'm gonna get this dog house. Goose is a bit of a goofball. I want more dog house types. All right. <laughs> I haven't even thought about cats yet. Um, how's Van Life Farm doing? We're doing great. Alright, we are adopting all the pets. 
All right, this is Goose. This, you know when you look at this dog. This is the goober of all the dogs. Like this is a this is a hard like Snarts. He's a hard working dog. Like he knows what he's doing. Moose is also a great, you know, guard dog. Goose would not be able to protect anything because he's just so friendly. <laughs> and Daisy is just a sweetheart. She can't do any wrong. We need to get the, we need to get this tortoise as well. Got to think of a name for that. Okay, let's go ahead and get our pet license for Goose. There we go, Goose. I'll send little Goose to your home right away. All right. We got that. I think, oh, I'll, you know, I'll go by the community center as well. Or sorry, the, the Joja Mart, my version of the community center. Let's see, is Emily out yet? I get a little cutscene. I'm just going to skip it. Is she here? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm good enough friends with her now. I can just waltz right in. Let me make sure this is the right fresh fruit. It's Emily. Okay, good. I, I already made that mistake with mixing up Marnie and Maru because their names <laughs> start very similar. Right? As a kid, I mixed up Sauron and Saruman when I was first reading Lord of the Rings. Okay, don't blow. I'm not I'm not dyslexic. It's just the, you shouldn't have characters with the same names like that or very similar names. And yes, that is me critiquing J.R.R. Tolkien. Do better. <laughs> hey, and we get a prize ticket now because this is the third one. You want 35 pieces of stone. All right, I'll get them. I'll get them. But first, we got to buy some of these. Um, where? Oh, what? What a kind of. This is such weird flooring. Like grass. I like that's a cool wallpaper, I guess. Okay, I'm getting, getting caught carried away here. Cherry, one cherry, one apricot, one orange, one peach, a pomegranate, an apple, and we can even buy back our starfruit one. How about that? No thanks. Don't need it. Okay. We're done here. Okay, yeah, I want to go by Joja. We'll purchase another upgrade. Look, a lot is going to be happening soon. We're going to complete the community center now, or the Joja Community Development Project. Look, you know, the city, they, the people in town, they very well could have taken care of the community center before I showed up. You know, they aren't doing anything to fix up the community center. I'm, I'm, I was carrying all the weight. So don't mind me if I employ somebody as a proxy <laughs> to fix it up. All right. And it just turns into an Amazon warehouse. Not my fault, I'm, you know. Wait, where was I? What was I gonna do? I did that. I was gonna run. Oh, I want to get stone. How much was it? Thirty-five. Oh, it's Robin that sells stone. Why would I come here? I can also just get it in the mines. Let's do that. What's the best floor for it? I feel like 21. Because you want to get these, like, big... Uh... Oh, never mind. The big stone things. You know what I'm talking about. 
this. Right? Probably should have brought a weapon with me. But these are also good, so I'll take them. Sometimes there's something down there, but nope. Here we go. Oh, what am I doing? There we go. I did it the honest way. I think you can also just purchase the stone and then give it to her like like you got it. Like you got it fresh. But also maybe that's just her way. Oh, I forgot about this. <gasps> wait a second. Oh wait, what? That's a new node. That that I think that's coal. Oh, we can get the prismatic shard. Oh, we are so going to force a Prismatic Shard there. We're going to do it. All right. We're going to do that. Actually, I'm going to do that before we do a Skull Caverns run. Even if we get a really lucky day tomorrow. Because the, I want to I wanna use the Galaxy Hammer. Like, it's a game changer. We're just continuing to pick up forage because it takes forever to get level 10. Um, I, oh, wait, didn't I want to come talk to her? Okay, there we go. You got the stone I asked for. Thank you. Oh yeah, if I upgrade the house, a hundred pieces of hardwood. This changed. It used to be 50,000, I think, gold, and then 150 pieces of hardwood. I think this is better. Hardwood is one of those constrained resources that's kind of difficult to get if you aren't on the uh, forest farm. So I'm kind of glad that it's not as bad. But I'm not ready for it. I don't have the hardwood with me. I need to go get it. It's probably too late in the day. Um, was there anything else I want to purchase here? Let me see our shop. Oh, the double bed. I love it. Oh, by the way, there were some other changes. Look at this. Wait, okay. They they had a double bed here. I take it back. They, they've always had a double bed, if I remember. But, like, some of the other characters, like uh, Kent and uh, Jody, they used to have just a single bed that they shared. They literally just slept on top of each other. Or actually, I don't know if Jody ever actually goes to the bed. I think Jody would stay in the kitchen the whole night. And then the same was true for um, another couple. Evelyn and George, they also had a, a single bed. Finally upgraded. Okay. I need, I always have to check this to make sure. Maybe I don't need to, so we can, I don't need to check. Okay, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, wait, okay, put one here, then the next one will go here, and then the next one will go here. I think that's good, yeah, let's do that. Okay, put one. So yeah, the game won't let you plant too close, so you can't accidentally mess up here. I mean, I guess you could still mess up by planting the first one incorrectly, but whatever. All right, we'll do three like that. And then three like that. There. Look at us. Look at us leveling up the Stardew way. All the work that we do, by the way, is for the dogs every effort 
that we take is to improve the lives of our animals. Yes, my children. Go home. Go home. You're safe with me. I have guard dogs protecting you. Oh, also, I forgot. We've got the, um, the, the farmhouse is upgraded. Look at that. Oh, and we can... We can place the fridge. I'll just put it there for now. Oh, what the? This is nice. When you upgrade the house, you now get this nice double bed. It used to be just a, this basic double bed. Oh, wait a second. No, no, no. I take it back. I think it's because I placed the single bed. <laughs> it used to be a single bed. I mean, we are going to have to decorate. There's so much we're going to have to do. But I want to upgrade the full house like first before we start getting carried away. You know, I mean, yeah, we've got we've got a lot of work to do. What can I say? We got some more foraging done. Oops, wrong one. Oh, we gotta we gotta set the house up for the dog. We gotta welcome Goose. It's time to welcome Goose. First we gotta we gotta water Goose. We also need to uh well let's let's put this first here. Keep the forest out, right? We need a little area. A safe little play area. And I'm gonna extend whatever that the pathing. Okay. We need wood and this. Yeah. Where is it? It's the straw floor. Actually, I think I need to pick that up first. And then place this. Goose's bowl. Hell yeah. I like it. I like that Goose is just a goofball over here. But Goose is the baby of the family. You know, Goose is the baby. We gotta find a hat for Goose. I th oh, I already, I already have the hat. I already know what it is. I'll show you guys. When we, when we get Goose in the morning, I'll show you. Okay. Stay hydrated, friends. Oh, yeah. There we go. Uh, we'll take this when we go to... Oh! Okay, before we do any of the goose stuff, I'm going to hard force... Uh... I'm going to hard force the prismatic. Wait, where's Goose? I haven't seen Goose yet. And I'm a little concerned. Or maybe he was in the farmhouse and I didn't notice. All right, wait, where is... Oh, 
Okay, we didn't get it, so... We'll go the next day. Oh yeah, there's some bug. Whenever you load back into the game, for some reason, I don't know, it gets kind of buggy and you can't click on things in the farmhouse. All right, when am I gonna get level 10 fishing? Come on. It should be time. All right. You're, you're cute, Daisy. There you go, there's your water. Let's check on the other animals. What are you guys up to? Oh, I didn't check if it was a good, uh... Well, it doesn't matter. I'm not gonna go... I'm not gonna go to Skull Cavern. <gasps> there he is. He's hidden behind the trees, but... We can fix that. Yes! He, oh, and of course he goes and hides behind another tree. We're gonna put a hat on him, okay? Let's get his hat. Goose. Wait, let's check the mail. What is this? Oh, I got a salad from Emily. Or the recipe for the salad. I got two options for Goose. I'm, I think I know which one I like. We gotta zoom in, because this is the, obviously the most important part of our playthrough. Here is the op option one. I mean, Hello. Option two. Oh, they both work so well. They work so well. <laughs> Aw, <Aww>, goose. <laughs> um, yeah. I think it's... I. I think this is the winner because this hat is very similar and, it, and it's, yeah, Snarts already has this one that you get from the Egg Festival. This one is more, I don't know, it's a, got like a goofier look to it. I love it. Oh shoot, I didn't mean, I didn't mean to take it from you, Goose, I'm sorry. But now you've been beheaded, benighted. Look how many dogs we have. We got three dogs here. <laughs> We've got a, a tortoise. We've got untold numbers of birds and rabbits. I can actually go buy some more rabbits. That might be a good idea. We're living the life, all right? Living the dream on Van Life Farm. Yep, we got some time. I planted them on Wednesday, so they'll be ready in a week from today. Okay. This way, is there anything else I need to do? I kind of feel like the wise thing right now is just use my energy. Clear some of this. Clear some of this up. Like, it's, it's too much over here. I love my dogs. So wait, I finished the community center upgrades, right? Shouldn't I get a cutscene if I run over there? Or... Let's just let's just check. I, I'm gonna check the traveling merchant as well. Here we go. There he is, everyone. Look sharp. 
Success. Mission accomplished. Hell yeah. This is what freedom can accomplish in Stardew Valley. Ahem. Hey Marie, welcome in. How are you? Just a few short years ago, the great innovators at Joja headquarters came up with a new idea. The Joja Community Development Project. The project was conceived as a way to provide important construction services to the beloved communities we hold so dear, all the while generating substantial revenue. Pelican Town, with its rundown infrastructure, was a perfect testing ground. Well, thanks to you, our community development pilot program has been a major success. From preparing bridge, old bridges to fixing buses to turning piles of rubble into a greenhouse. We've really turned this city around, I might say myself. I've also received a big promotion. <laughs> the president of the company asked me to give you this exclusive gift as a way of saying thanks. I mean, if you got a soda machine, like if Coca-Cola sent you your own personal soda machine, that would be pretty dope, right? I mean, you would still have to stock it yourself. But actually, this is something I remember as a kid growing up. My grandma had soda machines at her house. <laughs> it made sense, okay? She, she, my grandma ran a dancing school and the dancing school was like connected to the house. Like there was a hallway that connected to this other building that was like the dancing school. And then in that hallway, there were some soda machines and snack machines. And I remember as a little kid, my grandma would give us quarters. We could go get ourselves a Coke. Give ourselves a soda. But uh, yeah. Those were the days, what can I say? But uh, actually I was talking with her because she still runs the dancing school. She's a legend for doing this. Like she, she was like from a small town and she runs this dancing school. And, uh, and has, yeah, that dancing school is probably like one of the oldest institutions in that town at this point. You know, all other businesses have come and gone, but the dancing school remains. She was telling me that the uh, the soda machines, uh, they 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 they've removed them now because, uh, well, they were so old they needed to be repaired. And then uh, and and also, what is it? Consumer behavior has changed, right? Like it's no longer acceptable to just. Let your kids drink so much soda. Oops, I didn't mean to break that. Not that it was ever all that acceptable <laughs> in my day either, but... But you, got, you know what I mean. You're doing well, Marie. Me too. I'm playing Stardew, so I'm doing excellent. We now have four dogs on Van Life Farm. We've got Snarts. We got Daisy, the, the eldest. And then we've got Moose and Goose. Br uh, brothers. Or they're like half brothers. Like, Moose comes from, like, some, you know, there's, like, a pedigree to both parents for Moose. But Goose, well, let's just say uh, they're, they share the same uh, mother. 
This is important lore, by the way. You guys should write this down, all right? Moose, you know, has the pedigree. Goose and his siblings were conceived when some wild mutt came over to the property and, and uh, you know, Moose's mother could not resist the, uh, the charisma of this, of the Goose father, of a legendary mutt of the neighborhood. <laughs> a true rapscallion. Maybe not the smartest dog, but what he lacked for in intelligence, he made up for in Riz. I think it's also good to kind of keep a clean farm. Or at least try to. This is where our old farmhouse was. Is there one there? No. Hey, Tordo. How are you? You just started playing again after a long break. You find fishing really hard, so it puts you off a little. I know a lot of people feel that way about fishing. You know, it's it's one of those mini games where it's the hardest when you start playing. But my advice is actually go to the ocean and fish in the ocean because you'll find this. Uh, oh wait, I don't have it. I only have these jellies, but there's a there's an ocean jelly that gives you a plus one fishing uh, boost that lasts the whole day, and it's awesome. Um, or just go to um, with willy and purchase the trout soup i always fish with trout soup um especially those early levels it's really worth the 250 gold um that's usually my advice okay what, what do i got here i got some random junk i gotta get rid of yeah okay good i hope that helps you I mean, we have a lot more space now, you know? I kind of feel like we need to think a little bit more about what we're doing here. Oh, and actually, the light changes on these now. It used to be the case that if you entered the home during day, the light would stay on in the windows until night. Or, well, past night. It would never go out. So this doesn't make sense to be there anymore. It needs to be over here, right? And yeah, we need to get some more decorations. We need some windows. Yeah, there's a lot we could do in here, but we're not gonna worry too much about it because we need to get some upgrades. We need to purchase like the furniture catalogs. that away. I'll put this prize ticket here. And uh, I think we're good. Oh, I didn't... I didn't go see the traveling merchant, but it's fine. It's really not worth it at this point, you know, because I already have almost level 10 in all of these, so I might as well just do it the honest way. Oh, wait, actually, you know what I need to do? We're going to go hard force the, uh... What is that? What is that stone called? It's like a mystic stone. Is that the name of it? That, that node that has all the weird little swirlies on it. I'm always going to have this little cutscene. Ready? 
Nope. Also, actually, I'm gonna pause it for a minute. I'm gonna take a bathroom break, get some water. Suggest you guys drink some water as well. And I'll be back. All right. Wait, it looks like the internet is a lot better today. I um, I changed the settings, so I'm no longer streaming 60 frames a second. It's just 30. And uh, I also did order uh, upgraded internet. So hopefully when that, that should be coming on Wednesday, maybe I can go back up to 60. But yeah, here we go. Um, okay. Oh yeah, yeah, I can't click on it unless I click down here. There's a weird offset that happens. I don't know. Oh wait, I need to be checking. Well, the fortune teller isn't gonna help that much. Because we, even if it's a very good fortune, we need to wait until... I mean, I say we need to, but I want to wait. Till I get the galaxy hammer. Till I get a prismatic shard. How was that one? Oh, it was already watered on, on day one. I didn't, I didn't water any of the spots. I, alright, Willy has the, um, what is it? The boat. Oh, you want a puffer fish? Do I have to catch one? Just, okay, I just have to bring it to him. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. Oh, I get gifts! 
Thank you for the stone. I will treasure this stone, this unique piece of rock for the rest of my life. <laughs> he looks so good in that little derpy hat, you know? Okay, we got a water. I like, Moose is like, hey, I like your doghouse, Goose. I like their half, they're half brothers. But they're like, they're super loyal to each other. They really like each other. Okay. I got a water daisy. Yeah. Kind of difficult to water her sometimes. Okay. Was there anything I wanted to do today? I'm thinking about, like, I don't, uh, yeah, we already did all of this. Um. Do I want to purchase anything else? Oh yeah, there is like the house upgrade. Maybe we can do that. I'll run by... Uh... Robin. It took me a while to think of her name. <laughs> that's like this, that's Juice. He's kind of at that age where he just can't remember people's names. He's like, Jody, I mean, Caroline, I mean, Robin. Okay, at least we got this cutscene out of the way, so I don't have to keep seeing it every time. Hey there. All right. I mean, we could also think about building more coops and barns. Like, we haven't built a barn yet. Maybe we should do that. I'll, I'm going to upgrade the house first. And then maybe we'll get a barn. We also probably should get another silo for winter. Oh, wait a second. Yeah. Oh, this copper pan. The copper pan. I wish the copper pan could get upgraded or something. Can I, can I upgrade this? I'm just going to assume no. I will need to take it to Ginger Island, so I'm going to put it here. And at some point, I should go and do some turn-ins, right? Otherwise, I think... I think we're good. I love it. We got a birdhouse. We got our ridiculous bear... <laughs> carved wooden statue. <laughs> we got our favorite dog, Daisy. We got a clothesline. All right, let's go check that, uh, get that prismatic. Can I just... If I put... Wait, why does it say requires one coal? I'm curious. Hold on. What? Wait, what happens? Okay, if you have coal in your inventory, then you're allowed to eat your spicy eel when you're standing next to a furnace. Otherwise, you can't you can't eat spicy eel next to a furnace. I don't make the rules, and also I go the wrong way. I got distracted. 
I like this patch of bluegrass. Bluegrass, we in Kentucky. Bluegrass state. Come on. No. When are we going to get the lucky the lucky break? It's fine though. You know, I'll go by the uh traveling merchant today. I'll just run down there now. Who knows? We might get what we need. You guys are at, are way too pricey asking me for apricot stuff. I mean, come on. Can we get a book, please? What the? A collection of furniture infused with Junimo energy. I mean, I do want it. I do want it. For decorating. But is it, is it worth it? I just had another idea for decorating. We can get cabins for each of our dogs. I'm living in one of the cabins. We have the main farmhouse, which can be, we have a bunch of rooms. And then we can also get uh, individual cabins that the dogs will put dog houses next to the, the cabin. So it's like they get both the dog house and their own cabin that we'll decorate. I think that's a good idea. We're getting a little carried away here, but yeah, the, this would be really useful. I'm just debating. I'm like, it doesn't really matter. 70,000 for this. My, I don't know how else I'm going to get this. Let me let me do a quick search then. What is it? The Junimo <laughs> catalog. It is from the traveling cart. It, there's a 10% chance the catalog will appear in the shop's inventory. Oh, I'm looking at some of the items that it has. I mean, it's nice. I like it. You know what? Let's just get it. We got the money. We got the money. And we've got rounds and rounds of star fruit on the way. We don't need to be cheap. Okay.
I mean, now that I'm thinking about it, I, I will go to the desert. Just so that I can get... I already caught the scorpion carp, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do want to go to the desert just so I can get the staircases. Let's put away some stuff. And let's get our jades. And... Am I, am I going to start duplicating jades? Because maybe I should leave a few for when I start making the crystallariums. I th and 15, 15 staircases will be plenty, I think. We also need to bring one of these. And just out of curiosity, can I make the iridium band yet? I don't think so. Yeah, no, I can't. I, I, that's a level 10. Or is it level 9? Maybe it's level 9 because I'm not there yet. So, okay. Yeah, let's... Uh, let's go to the desert trader. Also, I'll, I'll place this down when we get back and we can look at some of the items. I can see I could see him on the the wiki but I want to show you guys Proving yourself, kid. Check out the pile of lumber next to your house. Let's just deal with this. Wait. Yeah. Magic cowboy hat. How do you get 999 coal? How do you farm coal? Is it just like, in, I only know of dust sprites. That's the only way I know to farm coal. Okay, gotta pet the camel. Head back. Okay, now we're we're getting set. We're almost ready for a skull cavern run. Like a legit sca scavern. Skull cavern run. We got a we got a water daisy. Okay. Let's come into the house. And let's just set it there. So yeah, these are and, and we get unlimited of them. That's pretty nice. So we'll we'll de when we when the house upgrades we'll decorate a whole room with just Junimo stuff. Like there's this Junimo couch, a stool, a chair, a dresser. Well, the bulletin board. I didn't see that, or I couldn't really see it on the the wiki. It's too small. We'll put up a bulletin board, the community center, whatever, whatever engraving. A door, a decorative door. 
a hut. Is this also like a wall decoration? Oh, wow. Yeah, I, I actually really like this. The wall plaque. Leafy wall panel. Little buddies. That looks like a carpet. Right? The l okay, this lamp. I might need to veto that lamp. I don't know how I feel about that. Oh, I love this. Little Junie Mo. The brochure cabinet. That's nice. Oh, more. Wait. Oh, because it's al it's alphabetical. I'm like, wait, why is this? Okay, gray and green sleeping Junimos. The Junimo bag. By the way, a lot of people, I didn't realize until very late into playing Stardew that if you forget to collect the rewards from a bundle, you can go and, and uh, get them from the Junimo bag in the community center. And I think it's also still there in Joja. We actually, I could let's go look. I, I can show you. Um, and then here's this Junimo bundle, the flower, and of course, yeah, the hut. So I can decorate on the farm with these without without needing to get the Junimos. A little Junimo tree. It's like a bonsai tree. A large Junimo hut. Oh my god. There's look at all of this. This is crazy. And this is all new. This is new to 1.6. The bookcase. End table. How could you ever use this end table? Like all, all these leaves on it. You just get everything would be lost. Okay, this is getting me excited for some decorations. All right, we're going to go full Sims Live in Large expansion on, on you right now. We got the fireplace. It comes with wallpapers. You, you like We could make like a whole house with different versions of the Junie Mo stuff, you know? It's crazy. Well, let's wait. Uh, yeah, let's put that in there. Annoyed spirits. Let's go check on the Mystic Stone. We have to we have to get the Prismatic Shard eventually. Hey 27, welcome in. How are you? There we go. We got it. We're ready to go. Hell yeah. Oh, this is how actually, yeah, this is how we get coal. Oh my God, there's so much coal here. Okay, that's really good. I'm gonna clear the quarry at some point. I also want to show you guys here a little trick I learned. Way late in the game. Well, look at this. There it is. You see this little bag left by the Junimos? It's still here. It has uh, one of the rewards that I didn't pick up. A small magnet ring. Let's leave it. For good luck. Whoop. 
Alright, let's take care of the animals. They don't really need all that much. I kind of wish that sometimes they would just pop, like sit down and pop their head out of that, you know? That would be kind of nice. We don't need to water. Here, oh, we got bone fragments. Snarts. Daisy is here. The crew. I like that the farmhouse belongs to the dogs. I'm just, I'm just their caretaker. The bones should go there. Oh, we did get some iridium. Oh, we actually can make two iridium bars. Let's do that. Oops, I forgot to get the, the worms. And I kind of feel like using my energy at the quarry. I want to start clearing it just so I can get those good uh, coal nodes. I'm going to start at the bottom. It's a bit easier to see down here. Yeah, how are you doing, 27? Oh, Jade. You like how I'm clearing this out like I'm a lawnmower or something? Just... Oh my gosh, there's a second mis mystic stone here. You gotta be kidding me. Well, I am also gonna hard force another prismatic. Just to be on the safe side, because I don't know what my enchantments are going to be like when we get to Ginger Island. So I'll clear everything except that Mystic Stone, and we'll come back and and get another Prizzy.
Oops. Wait, you had a thunderstorm last night? In you, Vascula? I, I don't think we had any sort of thunderstorm here. Alright. That's good. Is there another? Oh, no. How much coal? Only 55 coal. That's not that's not that impressive, but hey, it's decent. Everything uh counts. And actually good for hardwood there. Oh wait, what the I got a party hat. Where where did that come from? <laughs> I'm I'm keeping the hat collection over here for the animals. All right. For the douche. And possibly for cats. We haven't considered cats yet. Um we I already had I think 36 coal on me. So it's even less impressive now that I think about it. It only gave me like 20 coal from all of those coal nodes that we broke. Seems kinda unlucky. But yeah, we've got, we've got iridium. I want to check something. I want to make sure I don't have any bars in here. Yeah, no, we're fine. Hey, but the good thing is, yeah. Okay, there. <laughs> we're at least going to get two batteries tonight. It, was, it went through Toroku, Tampere, Uvascula, and Kuopio. It missed the Helsinki area. Yeah, no, this morning it was beautiful. It was a perfect morning to go out for a long run. Okay, now we gotta... No, we still only have two. I'm kind of delaying because I... If oh, Actually, I'm kind of curious. If I go to sleep... I feel like staying out on a rainy day gives you more more batteries. I don't know. I might be misunderstanding that. But uh, this iridium, I, what, what should I use it on? I mean, we're going to need to start, yeah, stockpile. We're probably going to use it for, hey, actually, we can make a crystallarium. Or do I... If we, yeah, that's perfect, actually. Let's get a, another crystallarium going. I think I need the gold. Was it refined quartz and the batteries? And stone. Do we, oh, yeah, we don't need the refined quartz. That's the, the one that I had. That away. And I'm also going to switch from rubies to jade. 
I think that's probably a good idea. Cause yeah, we got we got plenty of rubies, I think, for going. One other thing I'd like to do, make a few more of these. I kind of like this Junimo thing. It kind of looks like it's like we have like the Bible open. Uh, dogs, did you all read the Bible today? Juice is very conservative. <laughs> He's very religious about his dogs. It's the dog Bible. It's the dog translation. Also, you too, Tordo. Don't think because you're a tortoise, you don't, you know, you don't need to worry about the afterlife. All right. All right, enough, <laughs> enough of that lore. <laughs> Before the lore is getting controversial. All right. Wait, I want to see, how many do I have? Yeah, only two are going. Hey, next super good luck day, we're going to go to the desert. All right. Let's... Actually, I'm going to go hard force. The you know what. Let's hope we get it. I mean, I guess I don't really need to do it now because it's like a Ginger Island thing, but. I feel like we might as well. Unlucky. All right, Farley. Um, the Luau and the bookseller this week. That's nice. Wow, we got two trees to grow up. We gotta pet the animals as much as it's possible, because you can't find them in the tall grass. Like, is that a no? What? way down here. Oh, wait, I didn't even see that one. I just bumped into him. Hey, thank you. Snart's giving me clay. Oh. All right. Water their bowls. Um. Oh, the house is upgraded. How about that? Look! Look at that. Oops. We'll get another fridge later. Put the Bible over there. We got these extra. Oh, yeah. Okay, I watered all their bowls. Take care of that. I do need to re replenish the hay, I think, in here. Yeah.
How did I get the caravan? Hey, I can show you because we're going to Robin. You get it from Robin. And it's one of the cabins. There's a little button that you can press to get a different type of cabin than the, the basic ones. And it's like in the bottom right corner of the menu. But I'll also show you today. Okay, here we go. Let's put stuff away. Wrong one. I think it's here. Yeah, you're welcome, Marie. Um, I gotta look at the carpenter again to see what I need. I'm gonna get a barn. We need wood and stone. Okay, at least we do have the wood and the stone. That's good. We have the money. I, I just need to figure out where am I going to place the barn? I might, I'm going to put it down here. I'll put it, maybe I can, I can put it in here. Let's clear a little space for it over here. How wide is it? It's a seven by four. I do want to clear all these, actually. Yeah. A caravan joke. Can't wait to see the new movie Caravan Park. The trailers look amazing. Oh no. 27 has entered the chat. I mean, you already entered the chat, but now you really made your entrance. <gasps> hey, we finally did it. Forging level 10. Oops. go to Robin. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah, Robin. I was like, wait, Mar do I need to go to... What is it? Marnie. I was about to say Maru. Oh my god, I'm really role-playing Juice right now hard. The unintentional LARP. No. It's Tuesday. <laughs> Lame. Anyways, well, I will take the minecart home to the bus stop.
I feel like we should play Junimo Kart at some point. You know? Fireball. The trees grow so slow. Four twenty. Hey, we got some more peaches. Heading out. You're going to make some coffee now. 27. That sounds good. All right. For sure, Lumberjack. We could have used that yesterday. Okay, let's go see if we get a Prizzy. Also, what's the luck for today? Just out of curiosity, neutral. Oh, hey, look, our, uh, our wine is ready. Ready? Probably should do this with a star fruit. It'll be quicker. You need a Bailey's latte, BRB. You're living the dream, Marie, playing Stardew. The Bailey's latte. We have the luau tomorrow. We could attend. Dude, when are you going to give me another dino egg? Literally right now. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> um, we need another dino. We need two dinos. We can't let him live by himself. I could either... I need, And I need more dino eggs because I need to sell a dino egg. Or no, actually, I need to just turn in a dino egg. And then I need to uh, sell dino mayo. We need we need one more anyway, but I feel quite strongly that he needs a little buddy. Fireball needs a Bailey. Maybe that's the name of our next. Uh, there's Fireball Whiskey and Bailey's Latte. This is good. This is good. We also need like another silo. We need like two or three silos, I feel. But yeah, we'll, we'll go to Robin. Let's do that. Let me, I need the wood and stone. Let's grab it.
wood, and yeah, stone. We'll build a barn. We'll build a barn. Oh wait, before I do this, I don't know if Marie, you're there. I know you went to get a Bailey's, but anybody else, <laughs> if you want to make the motor home, you come to the cabin and then you click this change appearance and you go to the left and you've got all these different options. So he, uh, in 1.6, they added, or Concerned Ape added this and you can actually upgrade this. You can upgrade your motor home and I've seen what it looks like upgraded, but I, I can't upgrade it right now because you need to be, you need to have like a second player. Technically the motorhome doesn't belong to me. It's, very, it's a very confusing uh, property system on the farm. <laughs> but we don't ask questions, all right? I'm debating. I think this I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to come up with with a system. All right, we'll come up with Can I still go to her shop? Yeah, I can actually. I mean, we do need to get the furniture catalog. All right, I'm going to go to the quarry. And just clear everything. Oops. There were also some artifact spots here, which is nice. Back 27. How's the coffee? Butler isn't home, so you had to make it yourself. What a shame. You did. You did miss me go to Robbins. I didn't know if you were back or not. But I'll show. I can. I'll, I'll show you again. I mean, we'll be making more trips to Robbins anyways. But I did point it out just in case anybody else was curious. Where how to get the motor home. It's 
it's okay. <laughs> I realized the timing was not ideal, but I wanted to get the barn built. You know, because we have work to do here. Also, another thing I should do is get the scythe. Yeah, you'll see it. And you, yeah, if you just go to the construct farm buildings, there's a little button for changing the appearance of some buildings. And that's how you change the cabin. But yeah, you, you'll you find it. It's not that hit. It's not intended to be hidden, you know, but it does require a little extra thought. We got the golden scythe. What is this? This is new. I remember this. I don't remember there being like an extra little area back here. What the? Uh oh. What is this? This area. I was hoping I could till here and find stuff. Find like artifacts. Is this just another way to... Oh my god, this guy's invincible! I got one bone fragment out of that. How lame. Oh my gosh. Hey, right, pretty good for artifact troves, I guess. Oh my gosh. You know what? We're just gonna... I really should have brought some sort of mallet to fight them with. I really don't need the sap. Or even that.
I'm all turned around. Where was I? Ah, you didn't get me. I'm too good. I'm just too crafty. Okay. Now we got our gold scythe. I like that. We'll have to come back for that. Can I get that? I do need foraging, right? I'll just eat these cave carrots. Okay. Oh yeah. We gotta put stuff away. rings away. Oh, yeah, artifact troves. That's nice. And the mega bomb. Hmm. Could be good to bring that to the mines. Maybe make use of it. Oh yeah, what are we... This, the old scythe we're just gonna put... I don't know. In here. Did I pet the dogs? It's probably too late. They're trying to... Sl oh, they sleep next to... Oh. To the fireplace. Hold on, we gotta fix something here. There's no Junimo. Oh, there is a Junimo fireplace. There we go. What do you mean it can't be placed there? There you go. <laughs> Snarts. I love it. Okay. Yeah, we are set. We're set. today. It is the Luau day. I haven't decided if I'm gonna participate or not. But the first thing is to see if I can get another prismatic shark. Oh my gosh, I have a ton, a ton of batteries. That is nice. Here we go. Nope, that's okay. We got the important one. And I think we'll get a bunch of prismatics while we're descending in the mines. So it's not a big deal. Hit that dog.
What we got? Crops are ready. We got our barn coming in. <laughs> Oops. That was a, that was weird. I was I was confused there for a second. What happened with the controls? Give them the water that they need. Oh, we're not all... D oh, yeah, that one was a day late. Now we got plenty of batteries. We just don't have the iridium. Barely enough space for <laughs> the red cabbage here. Someone's waiting for you on level 100, and they are going to have a very long wait. How? I believe in you. I believe you can do it. You know, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and do the luau. It doesn't. It really doesn't cost me much to do it. I just need to figure out what I'm going to give. Um, you know, I'll put the wine in. I'll put a, a starfruit wine. I love my little farm. My dog farm. It's... It's amazing. We'll have to get another dog for the uh, the barn. Of course. Um, Luau. Yeah, I'll just put the wine in there. They also, look, he changed the luau it used to be the case that this was where whatever the big the big soup was here and then this area was over here he rotated it i guess he felt it was too crammed with elliot's little cabin and the shop is over here now all these little decals uh, 
Alright. I already did. Let's do it. The governor. Hello and welcome everybody. I'm pleased to announce that the potluck ceremony has begun. I have high hopes that you all contributed to high quality ingredients. We want to leave the governor with a good impression now. Well, governor. Governor. Would you indulge us with an honorary first tasting? I would be delighted. I've been eyeing the soup all afternoon. Oh, that's a very pleasant soup. The produce from this valley never disappoints. So, okay. I'm guessing that was not the best response from the Luau. Right? The best response is where he's like, yeah, he's he's like, whoa, that is the best soup I've ever tasted. I think it's because if it's basic star fruit wine, it only gives you like the second best. But it's fine. The main reason I just want to help prevent decay on some of these hearts. I love that. Yeah, look, and we got how do we have four hearts with Emily? So we're just doing a bunch of things for her. Is this the note that you got, Marie? Someone is waiting for you on level 100. I really want to do a Skull Cavern run, but we just haven't gotten a lucky day yet. That's the one. Yep. I'll need to take a little break here soon. Oh, the bookseller's here. I'm be I bet it's going to be a best luck today. No. Thankfully. If it was best luck, I'd be a little sad. Let's go check out the bookseller. After we, you know, attend... Oh, let me, um... Check on the uh, the animals. I need to restock the hay for the birds. Are they are they in here? Aww. My pack. Need that dino. Are they upset that they didn't get okay? Those are waiting. Oh, that still needs to... Oh, yeah, it's a few days behind because I forgot about it. Is the star fruit done? Oh, it is. Okay, I'll go get the star fruit seeds. And then the bookseller. We're getting more batteries. What I like to see. Okay, wait. Oh, starfruit seeds.
<laughs> Did you hear that? It was like boop 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 boop. There's something about turning corners that's different now. Yeah, look at that, you see? It misses. But it's okay. It's okay. I forgot to test the, uh, the prismatic shard for today. Or did I? Maybe... Maybe I did check it. I don't know. I think I forgot. Hey, MJ, what's up? Have I unlocked the sewer yet to get the iridium sprinklers? I have not. No, I still need to donate a few things. Actually, why don't we do that? We we do have some things we could uh, we could turn in. Like this. We can do a turn in. We're getting more batteries. But uh, but typically though, MJ, I get enough. Um, iridium ore. From doing the Skull Caverns, so that I don't really need to spend money on the iridium sprinklers. The bookseller is in. So the only reason I'm not selling the Starfruit wine is because if we go to the cavern, Skull Cavern, I don't know how much money we lose. I think it I think if we fall asleep there it, if I have more than 150,000 it will it will be 15,000 uh penalty for passing out in the mines. I'm not sure. But I might want to sell it for the bookseller. Well, let's check out the bookseller first and just see what we got and then if we want to buy books we'll do that. What? Way earlier you asked about if I could upgrade the pan, and I don't know if anyone answered you or not, but you can upgrade it to iridium quality. Oh, you did mention. I didn't see you in the chat earlier. Thanks for, for mentioning that. I don't know. Sometimes I miss things in the chat. Hold on. Let me see. If I go to live chat, does it show? Oh, huh, no. I don't see. Oh yeah, you didn't answer me earlier. Sorry. See, I'm actually really terrible at reading the chat, so that's why. But I'm like, what is it? Uh, paranoid that I don't see the messages. But yeah. Well, thanks for for answering that. You can upgrade it to iridium quality. I'm I'm gonna do that. I think that's a good idea. Let's buy some books. Let's see what we got. I mean. Maybe I should just spend the money on this, you know? Because I've, the especially, like, let me just show you the situation we got on skills. You know, the sooner we get combat up, the better as well, actually. Because we need to make the Iridium ban. Um, fishing, mining, all of that. I just, I feel like we have enough money, you know, to justify it. Oh, and combat. Actually, this is perfect. Let's get that. And let's get that. Boom. And we got some ideas to sleep on. Oh, look at that. 
was it fishing now is level 10 yeah so we're fishing level 10 and now just mining in combat the combat will go pretty quickly once we do skull cavern runs yeah yeah you're dyslexic so you typically never read anything accurately dude i am so impressed by some streamers like speedrunners who are literally speedrunning and making split second decisions and reading chat i'm just like how and one of the speedrunners i follow for stardew valley he is actually dyslexic <laughs> i'm like how is he reading chat though it's impressive okay let's let's uh let's get some artifacts lame lame i think we already have both of those that's actually pretty decent for fishing oh <gasps> It's summer. I don't think I caught the summer legendary fish yet. No, I haven't. Okay, I almost forgot. We'll do that. You know, if it could give me a desert warp totem, that would actually be legit. But it's just wasting <laughs> all these on me. Like, look, I get every warp totem except the one I need. Come on, game. Come on. Here, let me put this. Yeah, we don't need this. Actually, one of these we don't need. Uh, I need to. I do need that. Was that it? I feel like there was. Oh yeah, this one. We've already got that. Okay. Good. Good. Okay, you can wait. You can upgrade your panda iridium and go to Ginger Island and pan in the waters on a lucky day and get some good stuff. I'll have to try it out. Okay, bones I'm putting over here. This. Oh, the dolls. I'm going to put the dolls on this one because I think there are three. Yeah, yeah, I think that makes sense. I am not donating the Prizzy. Not yet. All right, the Prizzy goes to the desert with me. Do I need any of this? I will decorate the doggo's house with that. But otherwise, yeah, we don't. We'll assemble the skeleton when it's ready. I think it's actually a great idea to have like a bone skeleton in the dog house. I like that idea. And I want to do this prize ticket. There was something else I was thinking of doing, but now I totally forgot. Maybe I should check this. And I only got a few days. Uh, the skeletons. I could do that. I always forget, like, I do need uh, crafting recipes. So you know what, I'll just accept it and do it. I don't know about the, the resource rush. And you mod for a variety streamer. It's, yeah, it's crazy how some people can multitask. I am not a multitasker. I can't, I'm just, I'm locked in on whatever I'm doing. Well, we don't need this anymore. <laughs> By the way, this this was the cow that was teased in Concerned Ape's New Year's post that confused the crap out of everybody. Right? You remember he posted it and it was like on the beach and it said Happy New Year and there were like lighting fireworks. And everybody was like, beach festival, there's a new beach festival. And then I think Concerned Ape was like, oh crap, that's not what I meant. And then one of the mods for his Stardew, the Stardew forums posted a hint saying, oh, don't, don't pay attention to that. Pay attention instead to the cow. And everybody was looking at the cow. And if you look really closely, it kind of looks like there's a camel on the cow. And maybe that is the hint. 
because the desert festival is dope but it doesn't make any sense why there's a cow at the same time this is also a very concerned ape thing to do just to put random confusing <laughs> there you go here's a cow decal there you go um hey what's up lewis okay that's done uh you know what we need to do we need to do a quick round well you know we don't need to see this cutscene a quick round of Junimo Kart. We'll actually try progress mode. See if I can beat it. Also, I'm impressed by people who can beat this progress mode without dying. Like, there's actually speed runs to beat it. And for some people, it's just like easy. I get to the last level and I just, I totally choke on the last level every time. Oh wait, there's... Oh yeah, we've got lore on this playthrough. All right. Also, I was reading chat and that's what happens when I read chat. I die. Yeah, but I can at least get uh, the coins that I missed earlier. That was the most troll boulder ever. If I had jumped over it, I would have I would have landed. I wouldn't have landed. I would have died. Oh my god. Dude, what the heck? The boulders were just coming in hot. But it's fine. It's okay to lose lives on the first level. Flip the slopes. Like a Chad. Boom. Did you see that? I'm not afraid of nothing. This is Harley Juice McGregor, AKA Maverick. Man, I am really just flying through this. Gotta, I gotta calm down a little bit. Junie Mokart is just like the best way to like raise my blood pressure. I almost guaranteed I will need to take a short break after playing Genie Milk Card. Because it is so intense. Hey, at least we get to skip these levels. That's pretty nice. Like my heart rate goes up. I'm like, my hands are sweaty. I get tilted. I can only play one round of Genie Mo. Whoa, ho, ho. playing like a pro. Oh, man. Oh, that was dumb. That was dumb. I was looking too far ahead. I was thinking about that obstacle. About dodging the... Oh, why? why did I do that? Now I'm going to hit... I'm totally going to hit the ghost. Or I'm just going to die for no good reason, because I'm, I'm tilting. I'm, I'm, t I'm so tilted. I'm so dumb. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're back. We're back in business, baby. Juice. Juice is the best Junie Mo Kart player in Pelican Town, all right? He doesn't need validation from anybody. He lets the game speak for itself. Man, these feel like, oh God, oh God. Oh, I went under. I am, con I am Farley Juice McGregor, Junie Mill God.
And we are trying to be somewhat spoiler free. But it's not like hardcore. Like I've already had a lot of things spoiled just because I, you know, oop, too much. That, I hate that jump. I already, hold on, sorry. No, 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 no. No, give me a better checkpoint game. I don't need it. I mean, I do need it. <laughs> Watch me just clutch it. No deaths, zero deaths. Absolute Chad. Do not. No, at least I got this. Okay, keep your eye on the prize. My hand is so sweaty right now. <laughs> but yeah, to answer your question, MJ, yes, the lore. We are building lore for the character. Uh, you can see, hold on, what is that? <laughs> Juice. Look at him with his absolute mad lad hair. His nickname is Juice, but his his, his mother named him Farley, but his daddy called him Juice growing up, and all his buddies. And he's got his trucker hat, and he lives in a van down by the river, and he loves animals, and he's got four dogs, and his only aspiration in life is to be a good dog dad. I got this money. I think, actually, I, wanna, I want to pass out in Skull Cavern. So I'm actually just going to spend all the money on coffee right now. The other option would be to get bombs. Right? There we go. I mean, I have a ton. Like, this is how much? What? 337,000 gold? But I don't want to use it. Oh, yeah. I don't know about the fishing book. Oh, wait a second. I do know, MJ. Yeah, I do know about the room. I want to unlock the room. And so that's why I'm trying to get my skills to level 10 in all of them. I really want to get in, into the room and get the, uh, is it like the Iridium Scythe, right? Yeah, Farley's an icon, absolutely. It is very useful to keep any XP books, even if you are level 10. Ah, that is a good point. I am curious. Let me run over here and talk to him. Since I have the money, I should probably spend it on the books then if they're here. Well, the horse book I'm not getting yet. I don't have a horse. I mean... I don't know. Yeah, don't sell them. Okay. What, you only had two hours of sleep last night, Marie. Well, hang in there. Get some rest. I mean, I hope that you only had two hours because you were so addicted to Stardew. <laughs> That's that, that would be an acceptable trade-off. Like, I was streaming yesterday way too late. I did like a 10 hour stream because I'm just so into this this playthrough, right? This is like the most fun I think I've ever had in a Stardew playthrough, which 
is saying a lot, considering how many times I've played this game to perfection. Okay. Let's go ahead and put stuff away here. This could be useful when we get to Ginger Island for dealing with the um, ancient fruit. I want to have an ancient fruit garden with the Iridium site. That's one of my goals. All right, let's go decorate the dog mansion. Oh, <laughs> look at Torto. <laughs> He's just chilling by the fire. An absolute legend. Let's put that there. Um, and, oh yeah, I want to put this there. How about that? I don't know, maybe, maybe there. Kind of off center though. That's fine. You're playing Stardew. <laughs> you had to wake up for work. It's noble. A noble sacrifice. Okay. I think we're all set over here. Oh, what? We have a... Look at... That's crazy. That's a lot of batteries. And now I don't even need that. Oh, I also forgot. Next time we go, we can actually get the final scarecrow. Or rare crow, I should say. We got the casino card. The club card. But yeah, we do need access to the sewers to start the goblin problem quest in order to do the void salmon, right? Yeah. And, uh... Okay. I'm going to put the starfruit wine in there. We'll go to sleep. And... Oh, level 10 fishing. I think this is better. I never sell fish. Right? Like... But getting treasures while fishing is better. And actually, if... if because I know that we will keep collecting experience after level 10. So catching with the treasure chest multiplies the fishing experience you get. So it'll make fishing better as well, that we get more treasure chests. Okay, I might reset today. So let's, let's check if we can get... Oh, actually, today we could go to the, the desert, Skull Cavern. But before we do, I'm just going to go check if we got a Prizzy in the Mystic Stone spot. Yeah, in 27, I totally outlasted you. You're, you're more of a night owl. I'm a morning person. The thing is, I still woke up at like 7 a.m. today. I, I can't sleep in, even if I go to bed late. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pause here for a second. Because we're going to do the desert today. Uh, but I need to have food. <laughs> so we'll pause for like 10, 15 minutes max. And um, I'll be back. All right. So take a little break. Get some food yourself. Drink some water. Go touch grass. Yeah. Making bad decisions, MJ. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll be back in a little bit.
Oops. Sorry. I'm back. I left you guys with the nice, the nice rain sounds. Okay. Also, the stream has been doing a lot better. We've barely dropped any frames. I think it's because I changed the OBS setting. But I'm also upgrading my internet 27. I don't know if you were here when I, I, I mentioned it, but I, I put in an order, so I should have upgraded the internet uh, sometime this week. But yeah, okay, we're back. Today, we're going to do a Skull Caverns run. So we're, we're going to quickly just take care of our things. Because we, I mean, we have to wait for Pam anyway. Oh. I don't know why. Why am I still doing that? Because I have level 10 fishing. I don't even need to do that. Come and pet the dogs and the tort. Torto. By the way, hold. Here are my animals. Daisy, Torto, Snarts. Moose and Goose, baby. You can't stop the Moose and Goose combo. <laughs> I got hiccups now because I ate so quickly. <laughs> Had some red lentil curry. Hey, JF, how are you? Welcome in. Is that difficult hat still as difficult to get? Um, uh, I don't, well, I was thinking, you know, in summer there's green rain and the green rain could affect the ability to get the hat from all of the, uh, the weed, right? So there's more weeds that you can, uh, harvest or whatever but it's I don't think it improves the actual strategy which is to do it on ginger island with bombs <clears throat> so I think it is still just as hard and to my knowledge he didn't change the code on it so it's not like it uh... no not Georgie <laughs> I'm trying to click. Oh, there we go. He was in the way. I couldn't. <laughs> George, I'm not mad at you. All right. I'm just frustrated at the situation. But get your stupid duck butt out of the way. All right. I can hear the barn being built down. Oh, yeah. I need to get these. All right, here we go. Now we are pretty much ready. I just need to, okay, get rid of what all the stuff that I don't want to bring with me. Give them my, oh, actually, I don't want to even bring the slammer because I'm going to get uh, the galaxy hammer. Um, we, want the, we want the triple shot. We want the spicy eel. We also want to bring our bombs and staircases. And I don't have the bait in here. Yeah, staircases, and then we'll also bring... I feel like I should save some of the jade. Yeah, I'm just going to save the jade for... We're going to make more crystallariums, and 15 should be enough right now. I'll save some rubies in case I need to start duplicating them, but typically I should get enough spicy eel from all the green serpents. But okay, double check. I got everything that I need, right? 
I think so. Yeah, this should be enough triple shot for one day. Oh, I did not. Oh my god, I almost forgot the salads. That would have been devastating. I have a, I have a plan. We're going to go troll Pam. Yeah, green rain is a great way to get the moss. I agree. This is how we're going to troll Pam. We're going to hit her with the Junimo chair. All right. Okay, good. These aren't ready yet. That's a relief. I can... Uh... And okay. Yeah, I don't need the farm. I was going to think about getting the farm warp totem, but it's okay for me to pass out because the maximum I can lose is 12 gold. 10% or 15,000. Whichever is less. Okay. We're going to go bank. So we'll troll her the next time. We should be able to catch up. I'll also click on this just to see. A red mullet for Elliot. Maybe we could do that tomorrow. Pam is hauling it. There we go. I wanna... <laughs> I am so stupid sometimes. We're going to try again. We're going to start the day over. All right, I can do better. I don't want to lose an hour to go home, to get the wine, to go to Pierre and sell it. All right. I hope... Okay, it is a Saturday. All right, I'm just going to get set up. And then we'll bring one starfruit wine with us. All right. <laughs> All right. Okay. We need that. We need that. And I need that. Spicy eel. And that. And then I will get the bomb. Or, you know, I'll do... Yeah, yeah, yeah. take five of those we need the prizzy <clears throat> oh i don't need the slammer what am i doing take the prizzy and we'll take one of these so that we have enough money <laughs> to get to the desert we have to go to pierre first i think that's everything right i'm not gonna bring i'm just gonna leave these yeah for duplicating for duplication pur purposes later. All right. Let's just collect all our stuff here. Whoops. I might just, I'm gonna leave that. I don't even need the honey. I'm just gonna leave it. But I will, of course, come to pet the animals. But I'm not a psychopath, all right. They are beautiful creatures. Okay. Oh, they're... Oh, my God. Daisy. What the crap. Oh, I also got to get the Junimo chair out of here.
There you go. Okay, we're good. We're ready. We're ready to roll, baby. Yeah, we'll get the Elliot quest. Where is Pam going to come flying out? There she is. <laughs> oh, she's on a mission. There we go. I just... Uh, maybe catch her. Oh, I just barely missed that I'm in front. Okay, good. Finally, we're doing a proper Skull Cavern run. We're going to get to floor 100 no matter what. All right. Okay, we got our our buffs. Oh, the the screen jumped. That was really weird. We're ready. Pet the camel for good luck. And we're off to the races, baby. Oh, what am I doing? I'm a dumb I'm a dumb dumb. I'm a dumb dumb. I'm lost. It's okay. Oh shoot. It's the galaxy sword. Why did I think I was going to get the galaxy hammer? You know what? Screw it. We're just going to do it with... With the sword. Actually, and I don't even need that sword then. Take that. got a ladder.
Oh, there was a... Let me just see if there's a droppy. Nope. Okay. That was a waste of time. I shouldn't have. But I couldn't help it. Oh, no. Oh, that's quickest, <laughs> quickest ladder in the West. Quickest ladder west of the Mississippi. Okay, here we go. Unlucky. Oh, I tried to click on the thing, but I missed it. Oh, we got a droppy. Oh my god, three drop shafts. I don't know if I've ever seen that. The clone is back. And he's watching the Skull Cavern run of a lifetime, I might add. Oh. Dude! That was nuts. All right. That guy got so many hits on me. I swear the combat's harder. ladder, but I want the iridium down here. Okay, good. Oh, wow. All right, I'll take that. Oh, there's a ladder, but... Whoops. Now we got our drop shaft. 
That mummy almost got me. Hey, pris got a prismatic shard. I like it. Oh, no. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. No, I'm not. But we got a lot of iridium out of that, so it was kind of worth it to to do that. Please. Oh my god, just give me... Still none. What about up here? Still nothing. Dude, where is the ladder? Okay, this is dumb. I'm out of here. I'm out. I should have laddered like 10 minutes before that. What's up, MJ? You missed 56 levels in the Scully Mines? Yeah. You need to learn? Well, I'll give you a tip. The tip is to use lots of bombs. It's very expensive, but if you unlock the dwarf, you go and you buy 100 bombs. And uh, and then you use a combination of triple shot, gives you plus one speed, and spicy eel, plus one luck, plus one speed. And then salads from the saloon for unlimited energy, basically. And that's pretty much it. And then I start duplicating jades for staircases, rubies to trade with the desert trader as well for spicy eel. But spicy eel, you don't have to worry about as much because the green serpents will drop it. And diamonds if you want to get tri triple shot. But I just buy coffee and then convert it to triple shot espresso. But yeah, nowadays the bombs are more expensive in 1.6. They cost 1,000 each. They used to be 600. Okay. Here we go. This is how we do it. Um, I'll go this way, actually, because I see these. And so that's how you get ladders really fast. <laughs> oh, you're screenshotting now? Good. Students, pay attention. Tyler's Stardew Valley class is in session. Oh, that was... Ooh, okay. Also, like, we do this a lot. Pause the game when you're making decisions, and then use the number keys like this. I can switch between. So instead of wasting time trying to switch while you're, you know, fighting, just do that. Give me... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We need spicy eel. Am I not going to be able to get out? Okay, we did it. We made it. Come on. Come on. There we go. See? And that's how you get all that iridium in a ladder. Come on. There's my ladder. 
You haven't done a Kahoot in a long time, JF. Maybe one about Stardew. That's actually a really good idea. I like that. I might have to come up with a Kahoot for, for Stardew. Oh, shoot. I don't want to fight these ghosts. Did he did he fix this? Because these guys sometimes move. Said, no, he didn't fix it. You can still get attacked. Like if the enemy is right next to you and you're jumping in a, a drop shaft, in the animation frames, the enemies can move and and hit you. And you can actually die. Um I think it's pretty funny. But yeah. best kind of so now this is a question we've got a pepper rex floor now it is tempting to fight the pepper rex it is not worth it i'm just gonna ladder it It'll take me way too long to kill these Pepper Rexes, and I can I can do it much more efficiently later when I have the Galaxy Hammer with like Artful and other benefits on it. So, yeah, we're just gonna. So we use our ladder sparingly. That's another important thing. Is like, I mean, you could just ladder down if you have the ladders, but since I only have twelve, I like to use them. I prefer to use the bombs. Took more hits than I expected. But the those iridium bats give you iridium, so you know it's worth it sometimes. No, I'm not gonna fight. Wait. Ladder here, that's nice. Big hit. No. Okay, at least I got the ladder. I was going to have to use my uh, my staircase. Whew. We're doing well, though. We're doing well. Um, you'll find another for sure later to get the egg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I, I well, actually, MJ, we already got an egg, and now we've we've incubated another one, and so it's more just about killing Pepperexes is good for the monster eradication goals. But again, I would I would try to do that with monster musk and better weapons and whatever. Oh, you see that dodging? How did I not? How did I get everything? I placed my bombs perfectly so that they would not blow up one iridium node. How annoying is that? Dude. Come on, please. Good. It's like, I don't want to fight the mummies. Not when I don't have Crusader. I'm at 149 Iridium Ore. One Prismatic Shard. Not terrible. Oops. I meant to... I meant to put one here. Oh, the... the... Uh-oh. No! Oh, the ladder here. Hey, hey, I'll take the prizzy. And what the heck? I got a globe. I like that there are random furniture items now that drop in the mines. Yeah, MJ, the globe. <laughs> oh, well, actually, apparently I got this already a while ago, and I just, I didn't even notice. But you did, and I just saw in chat now. All right, run, run, run. Got nothing on me. Okay. Now we use our ladder. <laughs> if we don't get a ladder, it's just not worth wasting bombs like breaking a few nodes, you know. There we go. Oh. The, oh, I wasted a bomb that's a thousand G down the drain. Oh, but this is actually pretty oh decent. Uh-oh. He's behind me. Let me get the rest of this. Can I just not be an idiot here? <laughs> there we go. I got 10 more bombs. Let me get this. Yo, where's my droppy? That's what I'm talking about. We made it. We got the snake milk. Well, well, well. You made it. Come closer now. Don't be shy. This is the sexual harassment lawsuit scene. 
<laughs> I heard you were attempting a deep dive into these caverns today. I had to see for myself. Be impressive, very impressive. You passed my test with flying colors, kid. I'm very pleased that you challenged yourself and came down the honorable way, instead of skipping all of them levels by crafting staircases. That shows you're the real deal, kid. You got principles. I like that. You understand the importance of challenging yourself and holding yourself to the highest standard, even if no one's watching. That's why you're special, kid, you see? You lead by example, and I like that. Now drink my snake milk. <laughs> now go over to the table and drink this special milk I've prepared for you. It's called Iridium Snake Milk. One healthy swig of that, and you'll become even more powerful. The taste is awful and the texture is, is even worse. But your health is permanently increased by 25. MJ, you refuse to staircase all the way down. Gonna save up for some bombs and try this math method. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, I still use staircases strategically on like monster floors, you know, but uh, but yeah, bombs makes it and the, the advantage of bombs is you end up getting way more uh, like iridium and gold and iron like because you're breaking so many more nodes just with the bomb explosions, which is nice. Good luck out there, kid. Uh-oh. So yeah, on this floor, we just, we stare, on the spiral floors, you basically just staircase every time. I would also staircase this one if I had a lot of staircases, but this is our first uh, run, so I think it's fine. I'm just going to staircase. There wasn't enough to justify the bombs, I feel. Ooh, I'll take that, and I'll take that. Come on. Oh, we got a droppy. We got a droppy. We're in business. We might actually get... I, I forgot the jade. I didn't realize I didn't pick it up. <laughs> oh my gosh. If we don't get... Yeah. We just... We're just going to... We'll use the ladders now here at the end because we, we have a good chance to return on the investment with Iridium. But yeah, the snake milk sounds a little bit dirty. 27, I think there's lots of little innuendo jokes throughout Stardew. And it's just not fun, yeah, MJ playing with staircases all the way down. And uh, there is like a, a satisfaction you get, I think, out of using the bombs. I mean, of course you could also do it otherwise. Please. Okay, good, good, good. Five levels. I'll take it. I also pause at the beginning. <laughs> it actually saves you time. Uh, because, well, yeah, I don't know. There's, I don't know how to explain it. Oh, that was my last bomb. Oh my god, I didn't even realize that. I don't even have cherry bombs. I guess I could make cherry bombs, right? Does it tell me? I could make 28 of them. Hey. Come on. Oh, 
Oh, and I got the ladder. How lucky. I broke two nodes and got the ladder. What am I doing? I'm kind of, I feel like I'm not getting good clusters, you know? Like, what is this? I will have another spicy eel. Here we go. Oh, oh my God. Do you see what I see? <laughs> Where am I going to put the big bomb? There are so many iridium and so little time. All right, we're just going to go here and hope. Hope against hope that. Yes, oh my God. Oh my God. We're... Uh. Hell yes. Another prismatic. Oh, I got four prismatic shards. This is why it's worth using ladders at the very end after floor 100. <laughs> MJ, you've never watched speedrunners before the update, but recently watched a speedrunner stream of Stardew where he said the same thing. Pausing as you enter saves time. Yeah, because the screen, the timer, the in-game timer, the clock starts before the screen becomes light enough for you to move like it's really kind of confusing but yeah if you can pause before the screen lightens up here i want to get these and this one oh another oh my god are you serious look at this a fifth prismatic oh i don't know if i have time I think I only have time for this. Yep, that was it. That was it, baby. Let's go. You're dying of envy, MJ. <laughs> That's just how you play started. All right. This is like my, the, the, how proud I am, you know, of my achievements in life. I'm, I'm good at Stardew Valley, all right? That's it. That's about it. <laughs> hey, and we got level 10 mining. How about that? Uh, so in this case, I never sell the metal bars. And at this point in the game, it's, it's not as efficient as just doing starfruit wine, right? So I'm going to go actually prospector because the coal actually is a constrained resource for me still. And I'd have to go spend a lot of money. I'll save more money on coal than I would gain trying to sell bars. Or at least I think so, you know. I'd rather just get the coal than have to go buy it from Clint. Because it gets expensive. Hell yeah. Look at this haul. 29 Omni Geodes. Look at this. 100, 168 gold. 291 iridium. That's actually, I'd say it's pretty decent for my first full run, and I don't, I, I don't have the galaxy hammer yet. I did it all with just the galaxy sword. And what else? Five pr prizzies. That's that's really good for me. I follow uh, the Habu MJ. I don't know what, which which speedrunner did you watch was it habu or was it piano uh i don't know but yeah habu he gets like nine <laughs> he he gets to floor like 173 or 250 like like nothing um 
What else did- what other loot? I wasn't even paying attention to the loot. Void Essence, we do need a lot of that. Solar. That's about it. I mean, we did well with stone, actually. Got some more of that. Yeah. On your way to buy 100 bombs, pronto. If you got, it costs 100... See, that's the other thing. The cost of doing this run was 100,000 gold. Right? Which is a lot, but if you're just doing starfruit, when each round of starfruit in the greenhouse with the kegs, that's 108 starfruit wine, sells for over 300,000 gold. So it's like two weeks, two or three weeks, depending, you know, two weeks to grow the starfruit, one week to, to keg it, and boom, you've got three Skull Cavern runs paid for. Granted, I typically would go down with more than 100 bombs. I like a little wiggy, like I ran out of bombs. I actually would have been maybe better off if I had 25 more, but I was kind of cheap and I didn't buy them all. Yeah. MJ was Habu. Yeah, yeah. Habu's awesome. He's like the speedrun god of Stardew right now. I bet he's probably live right now, right? He's doing a perfection speedrun with 1.6. You want to get the seller house up? MJ, let me tell you something. The seller is the biggest scam in Stardew Valley. The the casks are just not worth it. They are like, they, I really wish he had changed it for 1.6. They should be one month. It shouldn't, you shouldn't have to wait half a year in game just to double a maximum of like 180. Cause that's the maximum number of casks you can fit in the cellar, you know? Okay, I'll shut up. Fortune teller. Oh my god, we could go again today. <laughs> I could do another uh, run, but uh, do I need to? I don't think I need to. I think what I... Because I have so much iridium already. It is tempting to turn down a very a, a very good luck day. But I have enough prizzies. I want to get to Ginger Island sooner, you know. And I want I want to get take more time to get more staircases. So we'll build some more crystallariums. We'll repair the boat. Yeah. Look at it. Look at my animals. And yeah, I only paid two hundred and seventy seven to cover the medical expenses. Yeah, you need bombs. You need bombs and salads. Just lots of food. And yeah, whenever you're in trouble and your health goes down, just pause and get, press, you know, go to your salad. And then when you unpause, right click immediately. And that way you're not, you know, you don't want to be caught running around like, oh no. And then you're like, oh, how do I get to the food? How do I, you know, and then you end up dying. No. We don't need any of that. All right, let me, I gotta put stuff away first. This, this was, this was actually an excellent haul. And look at how many, uh, whatever, batteries are waiting for me. I love it, I love to see it. Hell yeah. I don't even know, like, some of this stuff. I already, I already turned this one in, so yeah, I don't need that. Oh, playing on Steam Deck. I've never played on any console. I play just on, uh, on PC, so... I can't help, unfortunately. But heck, yes. I'm just going to start putting the food stuff in there. 
Like even this, I should move over there. Oh. So we got to go buy the galaxy hammer. Maybe that's what we could do today. And I should give a rabbit's foot to that guy. I should have done that already. I, I can get plus one luck. And I, I totally did not do that. Oh, yes, the prizzies. I love it. I love having the prizzies. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I need to grab this. Maybe the coffee. I want to save those triple shot espressos. And... Um, I'm also debating, should I sell the starfruit wine now? Because I don't, yeah, I might as well. I might as well just take the money because I'm going to build more crystallariums and whatever. We got to decorate. We got to decorate. We got a lot of work to do, you know? We got to water the dogs. Allow maximum rottage in bed is what the Steam Deck allows, but not cursor movement. <laughs> yeah, the bombs are low key the best. All right, let me have some coffee. Let's see. Wait, where are these? Oh yeah, these we just planted. Um. Yeah. 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 Save that red cabbage seed. And I want to plant the rest of the melons. Yeah, it's a good decision not to go... Not to go to the Skull Cavern again. It is so tempting when you get two lucky days in a row like that. And you're just like, I gotta get it. I gotta get more Prizzies. But that was such a good run that... Yeah. Wait, did I... Why? It feels like... Why is there no spot there? That's weird. Did I not plant anything there? I just forgot. Yeah. And I want I want to go purchase the galaxy hammer and that's another thing. Maybe I'll wait to do that after I do some other chores. I think the barn is ready. Oh yeah. The barn. We got to I want a dog house here. You know? Unless I put the doghouse, like, somehow back here? What if we did that? And then this could be, like, a little dog runway. Like, a little dog area. Ooh, I like that. I like that a lot. We'll do that. Hold on. We gotta come get stuff. Oh, I don't have space. This always happens. An overflow in here for now because I'm too lazy.
I'm looking at the floors, like what I want to... If I want to make the dog pen a little different from the straw. Although the straw just looks so good. You know, like that looks kind of good. But this looks really good with the way the bowls kind of fit. Like, I could do something like that, and then back here could be a separate little gravel. I kind of feel like gravel would look good. Either this cobblestone or the, the gravel path. I should have made more. I like that. It's dirty, you know? It's... It's where the animals... Does it make sense to do it like that? Probably not, but whatever. We'll deal with it. Why is it like there's little green spots on here? I don't know if that's intentional. Okay. It is Sunday. Yeah, I think we'll go sell our starfruit wine now since we don't need to have low money for Skull Caverns. By the way, how's my forge? Oh, wow. That's awesome. We just need combat. We'll get it. Oh, we get a, the Emily cutscene. Another beautiful day in Pelican Town. And then, like, the bird crashes into the window. My friends! And then one, boom, hits the window. Look for the big monster quests. And kill two birds with one stone. Oh, yeah, yeah. For combat. That's right. Yeah, once I get the, the galaxy hammer. And then we get a bunch of combat when I go to the volcano. shorts thank you very much 300,000 not too shabby Here a bit early. Oh yeah, I was trying to force this to be a prismatic shard. Oh, what, 
what the? The oil-stained shirt. That actually fits Juice. Oh, it does actually fit him really well. Oh, no. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you guys a vote. All right. In chat. I'm going to show you the options. We got the shirt. with It's like a little vest on it. Right here. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to show you all four sides. I'll call this, yeah, the, the red vest shirt. It's kind of like a life vest, which uh, it seems really redneck somehow. I don't know. Or the oil stained shirt. It's already stained with oil for that greasy look. You know, it just, it matches, oh my god. And it's, it, you see his shoulders, like, oh my god. What do you guys, even more iconic, MJ? <laughs> well, I'll give you a Q&A, or a poll. Yeah, yeah. Okay, which shirt? Uh, the, uh, the red vest shirt? Or, what was it, the oil shirt? There you go. Like, he looks like he's been working out on the big rig. You know, out off the Gulf Coast. Pumping oil. Here's a view of him without the hat on. So you can really appreciate the ridiculousness. I, I think I'm partial to the oil stained shirt. Like, it looks, oh, man. And it's all sweaty, you know? You can see that stain. What do we got in the vote so far? Two votes for oil shirt. I like it. Yeah, void spirits. The bats. Yeah, we do gotta... Oh, yeah, the skeletons. Don't I have that? Cave patrol. I don't think I can kill 50 skeletons unless I make the monster musk. Oh, when Elliot wants a red mullet. I might just go give the red mullet to Elliot and do that. But the main thing is the galaxy hammer 75 thou. Boom, it's mine best weapon in the game by far i mean until you get like the infinity gavel or like the dragon whatever i think like the dwarf hammer is actually quite good or the dragon tooth hammer is really good hey jay welcome in what's up oh we've got four votes one one of you likes the red vest shirt i mean it is the classic shirt that we've been wearing right It is hard. It is a, a tough decision. You know what? I just realized. I'm not, okay, I was going to go to... I was going to go to the carpenter and then get the rooms. But I'd rather do the red mullet thing. Gotta drink a coffee. You like both, Jay? I like my dog is wearing my my sports cap. The role play is strong in this. A red mullet. You know what? We'll give you iridium quality. All right, even though you don't need it or deserve it, Elliot. Three times the market value. Well, not of the iridium, that's what that's for sure. Right, look, it's worth 187. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go to Elliot. Let's just do that. Don't I have a beach warp totem? I'm gonna do that. I gotta use my warp totems. I keep forgetting. Might as well get some forage while I'm here.
Oh yeah, today is one of the days when the water turns weird. Like Leah comes out here like sketching or painting or whatever she's doing. Yeah, where is Elliot? I did get more dogs today, Jay. You will be proud. Oh, Red Snapper out of Mayor Lewis's trash. I don't think that's ever happened to me before. Dude, where's Elliot? Where does he go? There he is. Come back. There you go, bud. It's a beautiful one, too. Okay. You know, it's Sunday. I'm going to go buy the traveling cart. And just see. Just see what's there. Because if there are some books, I might just buy a bunch. Spend this hard-earned dough. Oh yeah, you guys are gonna have to wait. You want apricot, whatever, dried apricot. Oh yes, the retro catalog. Yes, I don't care if it's 110,000. It's for the dogs. We need to decorate for the dogs. Okay. Add it. Add it to the house. <laughs> Boom. A hundred K for the dogs. Wait, can I enter Marnie's? Because I would like to buy another dog house, please. 6 p.m., okay. I don't have the key to the town yet. And right now, the main thing... And yeah, I want to buy some more animals for the, the barn. Right? I need to get auto petters. I should upgrade the barn too. Aw, look. It's Goose being a good boy. Tort. Or whatever. <laughs> I call him Tort. Torto. Is that his name? Yeah, Torto. Tort for short. All right, Tort for short. All right, we got another catalog. Let's take a look. Oh, what? Look at all of this. Retro. Abstract. I'm so impressed Concerned it made all of this, you know? Like, he just is like, I'm going to make all this artwork that people can put in there. Like, what? A UFO? <laughs> a retro lamp. Retro flower plant. Radio. Ooh, I like that. The radio is nice. Tea table bookcase fireplace I like that we're gonna get the fireplace oh it's like a shag carpet no where do we want this fireplace how about over here Oh, that looks nice. I like it. We need another lamp. Is there like a Genimo lamp? I don't think so. I don't remember. There is a Genimo lamp, but I didn't like it. <laughs> the Genimo bag. I like that. I'm going to set one of those down somewhere. 
Genimo plaque. Genimo trees. Let's get that retro lamp. There we go. I feel like this actually kind of go would go well over here. Yeah. All right. Oh, we're going to end the poll now. It looks like we had five votes. Three for the oil shirt and two for the red vest. So it was close. It was close. But we will go with the oil stain. I'm also going to vote. So it ended up being four to two for the oil stained shirt. Although, who knows? Maybe we'll go back to the to this. Oh, another piece of advice, MJ. Get the burglar's ring as quick as you can from the dust sprites the monster eradication gift uh, because this thing is overpowered and gives you so much. Okay, I need to also start doing uh, iridium bars. Um, but yeah, anyway, sorry, coming back. Jay, now you got time to watch me. Good. I'm doing well. Oil shirt's a good look for juice. Like he spilled, he spilled juice on it. <laughs> He's nice and juicy. Like a real man. I put that in there. Oh, I forgot to put the globe. That's okay. We got red snapper. And we got coral and stuff. Is that in here? Yeah. We got summer forage. We're going to go retire the shirt. But yeah, we got lots of cool stuff from the Desert Festival. That was honestly one of the nicest surprises of 1.6. And it wasn't spoiled for me because I, I had no idea. I didn't watch the live streams when people had gone to the festival, so I didn't know. Can I put this down there? Whatever. I'll put it next. Yeah, you got to be next to the... So when I'm sitting in my beautiful big brown chair, I can just reach over and spin the globe. That's how juice lives. Okay, let me get the... <laughs> that, that's really weak lore, I have to admit. That was not my best lore. But uh, look, don't come for me. And we, Oh yeah, we still don't have the Iridium Bands. Oh, man. Okay, I think I can go to sleep. Almost done with Dust Sprites, MJ. Yeah, I'm glad that you really like the Desert Festival, too. I'm, I'm a big fan. Look at how easy it is to get Iridium. No problem. No problem whatsoever. Oh, and look how much coal I have now. That's great. Gotta come. Pet the dog. Harvest the last red cabbage. Pet the animals. Oh, there's so many. I'm gonna, okay, I'm gonna go buy the auto petters. What is this? Starfruit! Kent, I got you, bro. I got you. Oh, and the puffer fish. Let me grab these. I should have puffer, right? Oh, I don't have a puffer. Oh, no. I should have bought one. What did I do with my puffer fish? Did I already give it away? I must have. Uh-oh. Well... I don't know about that, because I already caught the pufferfish, right? I'm positive. What did I do with it? It's fine. Also, something else we can do. 
we can start opening geodes and get the 60 so we can go into the sewers. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to take that out. All right, summer. Put that away. Yeah, what was I going to get? Yes. Starfruit from a man, Kent. Anything else I can do? Pierre? He wants sashimi, so we could do that. Let's make him a sashimi red mullet. Because we don't really need this. Sashimi mullet. Make sure I don't have any other fish accidentally. Oh my god, I don't have I don't have the sashimi recipe. I have maki roll. <laughs> I have not been watching Queen of Sauce. So that one's on me. All right, that's on me. I don't watch Queen of Sauce because I want to get the book. I want to use the book, you know? Okay, never mind sashimi. I thought we'd have that. Oh, Evelyn, she wants a leek. And Gus wants an albacore. Where do I... I only have one albacore, so that's good. And the leek is a spring thing. Where are those leaves? All right. I'll give you a high quality. Okay. We got to come take care of the rest of the animals. I really wish the dinos grew up. Like, they're too small. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Arts. Just sleeping on the job. Hey, we got a, a, another dino egg. I am going to go donate that one, actually. Maybe we can also do some turn-ins. That's a good idea. These are the gifts. These will be for turn-ins. Oh, and I need to donate a rabbit's foot to the dude. To the, the truck driver. Right. We watered her bowl. Um, I guess we can also, yeah, deal with that. Do I really not have any other art? I thought I had more artifacts that I could turn in. But no, I guess I just got a little confused. Okay. Oh, we also need to fish. What is the summer legendary fish? Right? Uh, is it the angler, I think? Or no, is angler fall? It's crimson fish, I think, is the summer one. Let me look on the wiki. I've got it up here. Uh, summer is crimson fish at the beach. East Pier on the beach. And maybe it's a good idea. I could go for the puffer fish as well. What time would I need to go? I feel like they are only there until 4 p.m., so... I'll go do that. I'll go to the beach. And I, I need to buy some more. Maybe I don't. Actually, I should have a fishing buff I can eat out of here. Right? Escargot plus two fishing. Lobster bisque plus three. Chowder plus one. I'll do the escargot. And I guess I can put some things away so I'm just not carrying around stuff that I don't need. And I should definitely bring the iridium rod. Okay. What is this? You got just got 10 bombs from a mystery box and 15 bo bombs from the ticket machine. Well done. All right, let's go and let's try to catch a puffer fish as well. 
Let me make sure I don't have pufferfish row because that would actually be pretty nice. Scorpion, chub, octopus, squid, sunfish. Squid bait. Okay. Do I have everything? I think so. I'm sure I'll forget. I'll get there and realize I forgot. Oh, wait. It's over here. Albert. Wait, does the crimson fish need... Hold on. I bet I, I think the crimson fish needs rain. No, any weather. Yeah, it's only the legend that needs rain. Okay. I just had a moment. I was like, uh-oh. Oh, there he is. Oh, you thought you were pulling a clever one on me, huh? Jumping down to the very bottom. Trolling me? I don't think so. Not today, crimson fish. I will keep fishing for the puffer fish. Because I do need one, so. Wait. Can I catch a puffer fish in summer? It is a summer fish, right? Summer. All seasons on Ginger Island. I guess I'll just do this until... Until we get it. Or until 4 p.m., I guess. That's when it's going to be a cutoff. What do you got for me, Talop? Oh my god, the worst treasure chest ever. Well, four coal is pretty decent, I guess. I don't know. Maybe I'm being a little dramatic with the three wood. Like, wow. If it was like three wood and four stone, then it would just be like, yeah, that's a slap in the face. Let's see about this one. Five deluxe bait. I'll take it. Oops. We'll know when the puffer fish strikes, we'll know. It's... It's a crazy... Yeah, puffer. Come on, come on. It's Or this is octopus, maybe.
please just be Puffer, not Octo? It's Oct Octo. Just give me the Puffer. Like, the Puffer is also pretty difficult, but it, it's not as difficult as the Octopus, and that's why I kind of suspected that we hit Octopus territory there. Wait, what would be a whole middle finger? What do you mean? Oh, the wooden stone, right? Is that it? Yeah, yeah, that frozen geodes. That's good, actually. Tuna row. Don't need it. If it was, if it was pufferfish row, or pufferfish bait, I guess is the right, the right one I need. It used to be the case that you could get pufferfish from the traveling merchant like 30% of the time because the code was kind of, not, not that it was messed up, but it was just kind of, I don't know, it was just written differently. And so certain items had a very high chance of showing up. And it was kind of arbitrary because it was based on item ID. And all, not all... Yeah, it wasn't like a weighted thing. It wasn't a, a strategically calculated like, oh, I want this to show up more often. It was just like... The code checks a number, and if it's not a valid number, it just moves forward until it finds a valid number in the sequence. And so the pufferfish was at the end of a sequence of numbers that were all invalid. And so it just increased the chance that the pufferfish would roll and show up in the puffer in, in the traveling cart, which is why you would see it so often in 1.5. And now it's different. Now and now I guess he really Oh hey! There you go. I did not expect that. And oh, now we get Puffer Fishero and a chewing stick. Oh, I think we already got that, though. Whatever. It's all good, all right? We'll go take care of business now. We got to go take care of business. Juice is rebuilding this town single-handedly. All right. Nobody helping him out. Are you kidding me? I should have checked this. I could have gotten the aquatic overpopulation quest done. <laughs> uh, do I, yo, hold on a second. I always have to look this up. Uh, what is this? Quests, Stardew Valley Wiki. Um, aquatic overpopulation is the farm computer. And then community cleanup. What does that give me? Is that just the cutscene? Oh, it gives me fiber seeds recipe. I might do this because it's kind of. I know how to do it. Trash. We can go get that. We are not donating any prismatic shards for a while. What do I want to do with this? Is this dino egg a bone related item? I'm just going to put it there for now. I think that's fine. I think that's it, yeah. <laughs> Beach warp totem, great. That, that's actually dope. Lucky lunches. But I'm so set in my ways, I probably won't do any luck. I won't end up using the lucky lunches. I, I just, I prefer the speed movement buff over luck.
But th hopefully after this, we have access to the sewer. Marble. Jagoite. Or Jamborite, excuse me. Lemon stone. Is that Jagoite? No, that's bear right. I'm just embarrassing myself. Fairy stone. Okay, I did get that one right. I remember that because I remember fairy stone was the last one I needed in a recent playthrough. Thunder egg. Mudstone. Or black opal or whatever. Fire opal. I was like, wait, is it not open? I clicked on the sign. closely. Triple shot espresso, that's nice. I'll take it. go we're gonna get i hope we can do this hey kid i need a lucky break why don't you bring your trappish foot <laughs> i'll make it worth your while there we go we should have done that before skull cavern to be honest like plus one luck infinite or not infinite but permanent okay where were the other gifts okay evelyn we gotta do that. And I know Kent as well. Was there another gift I needed to give out of all this? Oh, and the pufferfish, Demetrius. 
All right, we'll do Evelyn, Kent, Demetrius. Yo, Evelyn. Yeah, look, they changed it. I say they. Concerned Ape gave Evelyn and George a normal size be bed. Finally, they had a little a sad little bed. Evelyn's usually over here, yeah. There you go. Oh, thank you, dear. This leak looks delicious. George will be so happy. He loves when I make eggs with leeks for breakfast. Uh, what is this? Torn between if wanting to save rabbits' feet or save them for birthday gifts. Wait, what? I mean, what else would you save them for? Like, you mean sell them? Yeah, you didn't know about that, MJ. I'm hooking you up with the insider knowledge. All right. You came to the right stream. All right, where is Kent? Yeah, they also got a double bed here. It used to be a single. Because Jody actually doesn't go sleep in bed. She always stays in the kitchen. <laughs> I think it's kind of hilarious. Dude, where did where's Kent? Oh, he's usually, if he's not there, then he's in this back area. There he is, yep. Hey, don't let Jody see. Too late. I, she had just ran past her with it. She'll love it. Thank you so much. Um, all right, let's go give Demetrius... A little gift. Hey, welcome back, 27. Hope you had a good walk. What? Oh, sell or save for gifts. Yeah, okay. I figured that's what you meant. I don't even know what they sell for. Let me see. Wait. Oh, I already, I already sold. I didn't sell it. I gave it away. I would, I would save them for gifts. I mean, I just use uh, wine for money. Demetrius, dude, where, where is Demetrius? Does he go to the community center? Did I miss, was he here and I just missed him? No. He's not down like hidden here. No. I'm not hanging out in Sebastian's room. Demetrius. Hey, oh, this is, a, I, well, let me try something. Yeah, <laughs> you like, look at that. Look at this. Can you can you juggle Maru like me? <laughs> Where the heck is Demetrius? I don't, I don't know where he goes. I'm, I'm waiting. When Iridium Rabbit's Foot is 1356. There you are, my man. And he goes, there you are. Dude, I was waiting for you, Demetrius. Don't give me that. There you go. Done. Done. D-U-N. Done. 
yet. Oh, I need to buy. Oh, I forgot to go to Joja to purchase auto petters. We need a lot of auto petters, by the way. I need more silos. Oh, my inventory is full. Well, we can fix that problem pretty quickly. Crimson fish, albacore. The seaweed. Where do I keep the seaweed? Is it here? Or is it here? Yeah, there it is. All right, let's pick up these morels. Yeah. I'll show you what I do. I'll get the honey. You know, I'm curious... Does it count? Hold on. Community cleanup, 20 pieces of trash. Oh, it does count. That's good. Okay, okay. That makes it a lot easier now that I, I do it that way. Using crab pots. Boom. We've already got four. And how much time do we got? Seven days? Oh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, I forgot to put that away. That's fine. We'll just toss it in here. And toss that in there. And this needs to go in here. I need to get some lights on my farm. You know? Oh yeah, we oh we need to make more crystallariums. I totally forgot. There's all there's just so much to do. It's, like that's what I love about Star Days. You just get caught up doing stuff throughout the day. And you forget what you were supposed to be doing, you know. So actually, really quickly, how many stone, gold, iridium, and batteries? Okay. Well, we got iridium. Let's see about um gold batteries and stone i mean we have a lot of stone i can make eight. Oh, because it would be all of my iridium let let me see here Is five? That is seven enough. <laughs> like, you know, how many do I need? That's the question. Maybe that's enough. worm bait. Actually, no, I changed that. I don't want that there. Uh-oh. Look, we'll fix it later. Don't worry. All right. 
I'll fix it later. Good humor spirits today. Trout Derby. Although I feel like I want... I don't know. I might have to take some stuff out. I might have to take a few things out. Because now I'm like, you know, putting the furniture in here, and I don't like that. I gotta make economic, e economical use of what I got. So let's put those there. Hey, and now we got the sewer unlocked. That's good. Good morning, Mr. Farley. Hope it's not too early. Well, I just wanted to stop by and thank you in person for all the wonderful artifacts and minerals you've discovered. You've done so much for one person. That's right. Nobody's helping me out here. All right? I'm a one-man band. In fact, I've just received a letter from the Office of the Regional Secretary of Artifacts. We're being honored with the coveted Golden Shovel Award for our significant contributions to the field. And, well... It's all thanks to you, Juice. I should let you get back to your work. Oh, almost forgot. I got a gift for you. It's an old key that's been sealed in the museum vault for at least a hundred years. It's a little rusty, but it's still beautiful. Have a gander. The rusty key. Let's see the... Yeah, there we go. Oh, no, no, no. Rusty key. Here. Yeah, we're just missing... The the ink that we get, yeah. Oh, we gotta get Friendship to get this one. Ginger Island for this one. I don't know what this one is. I can't remember. <laughs> but, uh... Yeah. You know, we could repair the boat already. Should we do that? Should we just repair the boat and start getting ready for going to Ginger Island? We've got the iridium. We've got the hardwood. We got the batteries. Oh, I need the... Oh, actually, I don't need the watering can. No need to, to water. Gotta come pet the dogs. The best. Oh, my God. Torto is in the bed. I can't handle it. It is way too cute. Porto. Just an absolute legend. <laughs> we also need to go get some animals. I need I'm gonna get auto petters as well, just to make this a little easier. At least with the rabbits. Yeah, 
Okay, you guys are doing well. The dino egg still incubating. It feels like it's been going for a long time. You guys are fine. Yeah. Oh, it's Tuesday. So Marnie will be at aerobics. Oh, hey, look at that. We got the uh, UFO thing. Oh, actually, this is perfect. This is such a redneck moment. Harley just got abducted. He had a UFO experience. He's got to add it to his collection. He's like, what the heck? <laughs> oh, yeah. Farley. Living the dream. Make these dark. If it better. They fit the aesthetic a little bit better. Getting even more batteries. Yeah, let's go... Uh, fix the boat. Give me that, give me that beach warp totem, because I'm late. I'm too lazy to run. And I never use the warp totem, so there we go. Oh. Was a lot of hard. I used like all my hardwood. All right, we got access to Ginger Island now. That's pretty dope. Play his piano. It's it is so precious, Tordo. Sorry, I'm a bit late reading your comment, by the way, but I know what you're referring to. I don't know why I'm foraging. Um. Oh, I I need to go to Joja. We need to go to Joja. We already did all this, right? No, no. I don't I don't have half a mil to blow. <gasps> a Joja furniture catalog. Well, we need auto petters. We have Oh. Uh, we don't have an and I'm going to get two. Oh my god, look at this wallpaper. What the? Is it pizza? No, it's gotta be something else. Very weird. But yeah, I might hold off on getting the Joja catalog. It's on the list. We're, we'll get it. But I need... I already think... I like, Hold on. I, I can look. Yeah, look. The birds, I think, are fine. Well, I guess these could... The ducks could benefit, but it's really just the rabbits that need the extra petting. 
so two is fine. Now, what, what do I need to do? I would like to upgrade... Let me go to the carpenter. If I want to get the big barn, I need wood and stone. I need to run home real quick and grab wood and stone. What the? What happened there? <laughs> this random spot was deleted. And did I accidentally do that? Wouldn't be surprised. Wood. How much stone? Big barn. Just 200 stone. So yeah, we're good. We're good. Auto pattern. Wait. I also need an auto grabber. There's so much work. And a heater. We need a heater. We need the auto grabber. That was like almost all our money. Okay. Oh, we need a do another dog house. We'll get the dark one. And then I guess we'll just get some animals. We can just buy a couple of dairy cows. How about that? A brown cow. Oh, what do we name them? That's a good... Uh, no, Kotzi. What is that? What's a good, like, redneck name? Slim Jim. <laughs> That's one cow. Juice is a big fan of Slim Jims. All right, and if you're not American... I'm sorry, you've, you've missed out on a cultural experience. Growing up, getting Slim Jims at the gas station. Oh, on road trips? Like, so weird. All right, let's get another cow because they need to have a buddy. Right? Um... Cheeto. Wait, is it just Cheeto? Like, I don't, how do you even spell Cheeto? Is it spelled just like that? It is. Cheeto. Flim Jim and Cheeto. That's good. And I don't have enough to buy a dog. But we are getting the dog set up. And wait, do I have enough to get the barn? Let me double check that. The big barn, 12,000. I, I planned it. All right. Let, I planned it perfectly. Hey, look. There we go. Put that there. Oh, we should, we need to put the heater in. Boom. And we also got to put the dog house. Do I want it? Yeah, it's got to be like this. Cause I'll I'll need to put the dog bowl here. I kind of like that a little dog run. You know. All right, let's go to Robin. I've got the wood and the stone. 
Is there a mountain warp totem? I've got a bunch of them, yeah. Oh, she's not here on Tuesdays. Right? No, she is. Okay. Uh, construct farm buildings. I want the big barn. Yes. Perfect. Boom. Slim Jim snack food. That's right, 27. What if you still buy Slim Jims at gas stations on road trips, MJ? It, that's a, it's like an American cultural thing to do road trips and to eat the like the nastiest snack food that you wouldn't even purchase and eat at home. Like it's so bad, you buy it for instant consumption in the car. Like ninety nine percent of all Slim Jims ever consumed were consumed in a moving vehicle. <laughs> like what? Why else? Or you know where else would people? have them at home no beef Ugh, mechanically separated chicken lactic acid starter culture dextrose salt sodium nitrate and hydrolyzed hydrolyzed soy yeah. Fix that. I think it was a lightning strike maybe did that. Dude, we're... F more batteries. This is crazy. I don't even know what to do. Um, what I can do, actually... I have an idea. We need trash. Oh wait, let me put let me put this away here. And I think yes, just give me this bamboo pole. It resembles fermented sausage. Hey, river jelly. That was actually luckier than I was expecting to get. I just want trash. Such as salami or pepperoni, bacteria and sugar to produce lactic acid. I guess I should just use my iridium rod. I thought this would give me a better chance for trash, but it's so slow. That's fine though. I'm just, we're just hanging out. The pH of the sausage, oh my. What the? He, the lightning just chopped down a tree for me. What even is this fish? A pike. I don't want a pike. I want trash. Because I got the community cleanup quest. Actually, yeah, let me see. Yeah, where do I, do I keep Pike in here? No, I keep it in the mountain one. It's in the river one. What am I? Yeah, there's Pike. Oh, that's why I didn't go. Well, I'm glad I was collecting all of the the hardwood all this time. But we got to be careful. I mean, we only, yeah. There's so much. There's so much hardwood to collect. Because we, we need more dog bowls, all right? We need... I want the maximum number of dogs that you can have on a farm. All right? That's all I want.
But I might I might need to take a little break here in a second. To um wait, let me think. What let me look at the, the schedule. Yeah, we're fine on that. I'm thinking about the goals, right? Like what are we what are we trying to do? You know, combat. I want to get to level 10 here so I can open up that room. So I would like to prioritize doing maybe some of the monster eradication stuff, especially now that I have the galaxy hammer. However, it might be worth to go to Ginger Island and just start going through the volcano because I'll get tons of combat doing that. And then it, the monster eradication stuff is much easier once I have the galaxy hammer upgraded. Um, to, with Artful and other enchantments on it. So yeah, that's one of the main goals. I mean, over here in Collections, not so important. Oh, actually, yeah, this is the other thing. We can go to the sewer now. So we can get the Mutant Carp. We can get the, uh, the Slime Jack. We can initiate the quest to go to the Void Swamp. You know, um... Yeah, we're really close. Cooking, don't worry about it. We're going to get a book, maybe? I, I was told there was a book. So I've been intentionally not reading The Queen of Sauce, trying to be cheeky about it, but I have not seen the book one time at the bookseller. <laughs> so I don't know what to think about that. Only two more secret notes. Yeah, I think once we get to Ginger Island, it's better to go to Ginger and and start just getting the walnuts, getting getting things set up over there. I also want to get star a, a huge starfruit field going over there. You want the maximum number of dogs on a farm IRL. I agree, MJ. Me too. I don't have a dog right now, but I really want to get one and actually move to this new apartment because it allows dogs. I mean, for other reasons as well, but I'm, I'm planning to get a dog this year. I just moved, so that was my priority is just figuring out the moving bit. And I live further out into the, the countryside here in Finland, so that's also quite nice. Uh, yeah, friendship, we're not going to worry about. Yeah. Was there any... Oh yeah, crafting. Oh yeah, we need the Iridium Bands. And we need to combine the Iridium Band with at, at the Volcano, right? So we just need to get lots of Cinder Shards. So yeah, that's a good idea. I'm excited to do that, though. I'm excited to go to Ginger Island. Oh... Oh, you already have three dogs. Oh my gosh. Yeah, you do have your hands full. Uh, I don't really know. I think I would like to get a rescue dog. And um, and so I don't really have like a preference so much on like breed. Um, I Yeah, I haven't really thought too much about it. I feel like I want to get to know some rescue dogs and be more involved and kind of get a sense of like, I'd like to ad adopt an older dog as well, um, or just any dog that's in need, I suppose. But also, I mean, you know, I have to be realistic. Like, what am I capable of dealing with? If there's a dog with like real special needs, I might not be able to do that. But uh, yeah, I'd like. I don't. I think I. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if I want a dog with really long hair that sheds a lot, um, or a really big dog. Like, if, uh, but. I don't know. I like running a lot, so I'd like maybe it would be nice to take a dog on runs, but that's not like a requirement. Um, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't really figured out. I the main thing is I want a dog that's like a really good companion, and uh, but n like one that likes activity, but not too much. You know, like so there are some dogs where I'm like, they have to be, they have to go out like half the day. They have to be out running you know, or they're, they're not happy. Like they basically have to live on a farm. And so I don't want to get a dog that feels like now the dog is developing an anxiety disorder because I don't take it out enough, you know, 
I don't know. I got I just gotta figure it out and talk to people who know. Yeah, oh, you want to get a rescue dog. You've got mini schnauzers because you're allergic to dog hair. She had a corgi and you had to get allergy shots. Oh wow, yeah. I'm really thankful I'm not allergic to dogs. Um, and I grew up with a miniature dachshund, and she was a complete rascal. Absolute rapscallion of a dog. Okay. Here's the now here's the question. Am I gonna go? Am I gonna go to Ginger Island today? Or do I want to stick around for the Trout Derby? I don't have the money to go to Ginger Island, though. So I can't. I need a thousand gold. And I spent it all on animals. <laughs> Dude, okay, Jay, if you're still here, uh, I might have to leave the animals unattended. All right? I might not be able to uh, to care for them properly. Yeah, wiener dogs are definitely the sassiest. Oh, 27, you think, like, you've heard Labradors fart the most. The Trout Derby gives you lots of goodies. That's true. Well, I won't go because I want to finish the this. All right. So we'll just, we'll keep, we'll just keep processing things here. We're not going to be in too much of a rush. Right. We don't want to rush things too much here. I need I need my watering can. Where, where the heck is it? Thank you. The old boat seaworthy once again. Thanks to you. Stop back by the room whenever you want to ride. Our shop's now open at 8 a.m. every day, so you can get an early start. Four dogs. And it's not enough. All right. It is never enough doggos. I need another dino egg. <laughs> this poor rabbit. Which one are you? Lone Star. Oh, that's why. That's why he's in here by himself. He's a lone wolf. A lone star. A lone star drop. Naming all my rabbits after trash beer. Love it. And naming my cows after trash food. <laughs> uh, wait, where's my brown cow? Where'd you go? Oh, down here. Look at that. Okay. Hey, Miss Hito Kiri. Welcome in. Good morning to you. It is evening here in Finland. So I don't know how much longer I'm going to stream. Porto just being an absolute Chad. Love him. Couldn't live without Tordo. So how are we doing on community cleanup? We got 14. And wait, how many days was it? We got five more days. Is there anything that I, I need to do? I'm just going to clean this up because I'm not going to be farming here for a little bit. I don't want to lose that scarecrow. I 
do need to keep getting hardwood, though. Oh, yeah. You have a Labrador with you. Wait. 27, you have a Labrador? Are you referring to your clone as a Labrador? I don't know. Wait, where do I put my stuff? I put it in here, yeah. All right. So, the jades. Should I put I'm going to I'm going to put the crystallariums out here. I just think it's better for the the space. All right. We're going to reset the jades in this too. Cuz I like having a little a little bit more space. Although I'm a bit worried about How about that? I think that's good. And maybe the worm the worm bin can stay there. Cuz of course, he would totally have a worm bin in the trailer, you know. He's and he would be like, "What why would I put the worm bin outside?" Like in here, it's climate controlled. Like, it's better for the worms to be inside. If they're outside, it's gonna, it, they'll freeze. I gotta tell you, I want the best worms in the biz. All right, they don't call me Juice Worm McGregor for nothing. <laughs> Juicy worm. Okay, wait. Uh, let me, <laughs> let me get his stuff. Uh. Actually, maybe it'd be nice to set it oh, like that. There we go. I kind of like that now. We got a little bit more space here. That's nice. I could even do that. Although, I don't know. I like it like this. I have the hallway to come to the, the calendar. Right. This is good. He's got his UFO. This is too much, you know? Too much fun. Um, yeah. Oh, by the way, I, I discovered something interesting. Let's, let's go do this. I didn't know about this. We got a, but you said a few extra bobbers as well. Oh, hold on a second. Oh, oh, wait, let me get back to you. Trout Derby gets you lots of goodies. You went and bought a chest and bait makers. And just made lots of rainbow trout bait and racked in the good stuff. That's a good idea. Where's my bait maker? I'm going to start making, wait, tuna, sunfish. Let's, I know I have a bunch of rainbow trout. Wait, they're not here. Not here. Yeah, look how many rainbow trout I have. These bait makers, iron, coral, and sea urchin. They go pretty quickly, don't they, though? Right? Oh, 
Oh, immediately. A few extra bobbers. Which bobbers did you use? Oh, you're referring to the clone about the Labrador. With respect to the fart comment. It was the best start. You caught a solid 60 plus rainbow trout and got like 20 tags. Wait, what are tags? You always use the cork one, okay. Um... All right, I'm going to save three rainbow trout. And there's another thing I wanted to, to check. It's a bit too late now. I can do it another day. But yeah, let's, let's put that there. Put this back in case I need to gift or something. Who knows? Um... Wow, we're almost done with the Iridium Bars. It might be worth it to go and get the Desert Warp Totems. Oh, it's Green Rain Day. Hold on, let me get some water. Time to stretch. You've not been... I have not been to... The, I did the Squid Derby, and I was kind of disappointed. Like, I just got a few gifts, and I was just like, I don't know, I wasn't I wasn't as interested in fishing at that point. But now I'll do it. I'll do it since I've got level 10 fishing and plenty of stuff for it, yeah. A chance you'll get a golden tag with any rainbow trout you catch. Then you turn each tag in for a randomized gift. Oh! Okay. I think that I think it was the same with the squid derby or the squid fest or maybe it was different I can't remember. Yeah. And you can fish both days until 2 a.m. if you want to. Noted. Okay, let me get some water. Actually, you know what? I think I need to eat a bit more because I ran a half marathon this morning, so I should probably I'm going to have some oatmeal. Um so yeah, give me like 5 to 10 minutes, all right? I'll be back. It's quick.
All right. A good break. Oh, Stardew is just the best. You know when you're like really enjoying Stardew that you just feel like real life catches up to you where like your body is like, I haven't eaten and I need, I need fuel. And so then you go to the kitchen and you're just yeah, wolfing down food because you just want to get back to playing Stardew. I know that's not just me. All right. Oh. I wish I could say I ran a half marathon so casually, Jay. Well, you can eventually, you know, if you run enough. <laughs> you run often enough, you can do it. But no, I'm I'm training for a full marathon, and so I have to get my my uh, my volume up. And so today felt pretty good. I just went for a half marathon out and back, and it's so easy now. Like when I lived in Helsinki, I had to like I, I felt like I loved going out to Keskuspuisto, you know, in in the trails there. But just getting to Keskuspuisto was like a pain. Like. I don't know. It's not that bad. I'm kind of exaggerating, but it's, I felt like I was constantly dodging, you know, cars and bikes and people, you know, and, uh, and here now I just run along like the highways or country roads or whatever, right? Not all of them, but many of them have like a separate trail or pavement that's just for the bikes and pedestrians, which is like almost unheard of in America, but it's the best. And I mean, it's not just here in Finland, like a lot of European countries have this and I love it. And so I feel like I can just run down those, you know, bike pedestrian lanes for miles and miles. And uh, yeah, so I, I did a pretty long run today and it was good. I felt pretty good. I did a couple like fast miles. I do it in miles. All right. I mean, it's the same just it's the same distance at the end of the day, half marathon. But I think in miles and I know I know the, what pace I need to hit in miles. And so I was doing one mile at like the marathon pace and then one mile at like an easy pace and then back up to marathon pace. And I did that on the way back. Uh, so the first half marathon or the first quarter marathon was pretty chill, kind of a warm up. And then on the way back, I was feeling pretty good. So, and it's just beautiful out there too, you know, it's like just seeing like the, the, the farms and the forest here in Finland, the rolling hills. It's so, and the, yeah, it's, it's so nice. Um, <clears throat> oh, sorry, but MJ, yeah, last night at 4 a.m. playing nine hours and grabbing two Uncrustables from the freezer. <laughs> I don't know what Uncrustables are, but I imagine they are some, I don't know, some godforsaken <laughs> instant trash meal or something like this uh, what casually eats bacon and eggs in front of stardew playthrough i have no idea what you're talking about <laughs> you just you eat while playing you don't take a break oh well, yeah i don't know i have a thing where i don't like to eat in front of like my computer you know or my this is like my nicer computer or my newer computer my i have an older macbook laptop right that sometimes i'll have that out if i'm watching like a youtube something or whatever watching twitch while i'm i'm eating and so i'm not so precious about that old one from like 2016 but this new one i'm like i don't want to eat in front of it but yeah okay sorry nice little break there thanks for entertaining me so the plan will be to do some rainbow trout fishing and uh, was it mj had a good point about uh bobbers and I wanted to take a look at the bobbers that are available to me. I don't, so I want to increase my bite rate, right? Like just catching the fish is the important thing. Okay, here's a question, MJ. Does it matter if I get treasure chests, right? Do, do, do the treasure chests contain like more of like the tickets or tags or whatever? Or is it just the fish? I think it's just the fish, right? Um... This one actually could be pretty good, the spinner. It's like, the thing is, my fishing level is already so high, I don't really need, like, the plus three fishing. Or, I don't know, I don't need, I don't need bobbers that help me catch the fish. I just need bobbers that increase the bite, right? And so that's, that's what's also really good about this, the quality bait that I've been using. 
So the iron, or sorry, the, the spinner, lightly increases bite rate. Dressed spinner, it increases the bite rate. So I guess I should make dressed spinners. I mean, they cost more to make, right, than the regular spinner. And it doesn't, and it, it increases the bite rate versus slightly increases. So I assume just plain old increase is better than a slight increase. The sonar bobber, no. Har the cork bobber. I thought that this was the best one for a long time, but now I changed my mind. It's the trap bobber. Trap bobber any day over cork. Um, though I guess cork makes it a little easier to get a perfect fish. So I don't know. There's there's a good argument for both. Treasure hunter. If I want the treasures. Barbed hook. Uh, no. Oil of garlic. Yeah, whatever. Uh, but yeah, the tags are also in the chests. Okay. Uncrustables are PB and J sandwiches in the shape of a circle with no crust. Uh, it's a, you know, there is one thing about me. I'm, I'm American, but I live in Finland, and I have peanut butter jelly every day. I have my peanut butter and my blueberry jam on rye bread, which is my finish, the Finnish thing I've changed, you know. I have rye bread toast, and it's amazing. Peanut butter, blueberry jam, rye bread toast every morning for breakfast. It fuels me. Um, isn't it kind of funny how like breakfast is is a is a meal that I eat the exact same thing every day, and it's more of an imposition to eat something different, as opposed to lunch and dinner. If I have the exact same thing for lunch and dinner every day, I kind of lose my mind. You know, I'm like I have to switch this. I I will eat the same thing for like a week. <laughs> But, you know, once I run out of whatever batch, you know, thing I made, then I'll switch it up. I'll do something different because I'm like, yeah, I don't want to keep eating red lentil curry for lunch and dinner for the foreseeable future. You know, like, but rye, peanut butter, jelly, rye bread, toast. Oh, yeah. I'm never giving that up. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. Treasure chests honestly spawned often, but most of the time they have golden tags, too. Okay. Yeah, the chest bobber is necessary. You got so many chests. Okay, yeah, good. I think it's better just to increase bite rate. That's probably the best uh, best bet. Oh my god. The Uncrustables. Do they sell Uncrustables in, in Finland? MJ, I don't know where you're located in the world, but Uncrustables sounds like such an American thing, you know? <laughs> It has been marketed and uh, focus grouped to perfection. They're like uncrustable is the is the word is the brand name that's trending highest with our focus groups. Uh, partly because it sounds so awful, you know. Like that's what we do in America. We're like, ooh, a deep fried Oreo. I, I'm a, I want to eat that. Like I want to eat that. <laughs> What's the most God forsaken food, put it in my belly. All right. Uh, Jay, you're going to say PB and J isn't a thing here, but the rye bread makes it half finished. It's the best of both worlds, in my view. Yeah, it does sound very American. As a former pediatric nurse, you can vouch for Uncrustables. Wait, what do you mean by that? That you vouch that they are good for children, like that they're healthy? or that they are necessary, I don't know. For you, in your position as a nurse under stressful conditions maybe where you don't have time, I don't know. I need more context for that. <laughs> okay, what the heck am I doing today? Oh, it's the, uh, it's the, it's the, it's the weather. It's, it's the, yeah, it's the weather, what, what am I saying? Where, what do we want to do? The green rain. What else can I do during green green rain? I don't know. Let me look it up. 
By the way, the live stream has held up beautifully. I haven't dropped like any frames since the very beginning. And that, and then it was only a few frames. So it's at 0.0% frame loss. I, I made a change. Uh, but I'm also upgrading my internet anyway just to be on the safe side. Green rain. Uh, is it really just the trees and weeds? In the first year, most villagers stay inside the entire day. I remember that. We went around and we talked to everybody. And that's it. The thing with the green rain is now I'm like, wait, do I need the, like, the weeds, you know? Oh, dude, I'm, I'm glad I got this, uh, this gold, golden scythe. Oh, I should upgrade my pickaxe in, in axe now that I have... Oh, 41 iridium bars. I just need to... I need my money. Uh, kids love them. Okay, yeah. Also easy to grab for yourself and very filling. <laughs> They're great on a hot summer day from the, free, from the freezer with a cold glass of milk. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm gonna get hooked on them now. Knocks a kid into a nap quicker than anything. <laughs> Don't blog me, Tyler, but I've never been a big fan of peanut butter. Jay. Jay, you're also vegan. All right. I expected more of you. <laughs> These other, other Finns. All right. Other Finnish people, I expect them not to understand. But you, I thought I could tell them. <laughs> I literally just had peanut butter in my oatmeal. I just put a spoonful of it in there. I'm like, yep. All the poor animals. You don't eat avocados either. You know, I don't really eat avocados. Like, they're quite expensive. And then, of course, there's like the environmental question as well, because they can be quite quite bad or even the industry is quite corrupt apparently like yeah but um i'm pretty simple i'm pretty simple in that like i'm not constantly uh, i don't know buying or trying out new things although maybe that's also something i need to like if i could improve my diet like i do get a variety of vegetables and I eat very healthy in that sense, but I don't, like, I don't know, I don't try a wide variety, I guess. I have a, a select variety of things that I already, I'm already familiar with. I kind of get overwhelmed if I'm just sort of like, oh, I gotta think of like a recipe, I don't want to do that, I don't want to, you know, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just gonna make what I already know how to make. But yeah. Let me let me put this debate away. I don't need that. And I might as well also put that away. That away. That away. That away. Yeah, what am I, what am I gonna do today? Am I just gonna go and collect Like, I don't, I don't even know what to do. Uh, you're a big nutritional yeast vegan. Jay, where do you get nutritional yeast in Finland? I can never find it at grocery stores. I never find it here. Although I know it exists. I found it maybe once at like a Prisma or something. But yeah. Hey, Marie, welcome back. Hope you had a good nap. Uh, oh yeah, they're just sold in the U.S., the Uncrustables. Oh, you could get them shipped to Finland with like a third party 
like drop shipper or whatever it is. But yeah. Oh, you go to K City Market. You know what? We're just gonna enjoy the green rain, alright? We're just gonna collect as much as we can. And just see what happens. Also, I, I need speed buff. Should I chop down those things? I mean, they give you, like, fiddlehead fern, right? It's just fiddlehead. I might... I might not chop those down, because I really don't need the fiddlehead. I'm just going to leave those there. Yeah. K City Market. Okay, I need to be on the lookout for a K City Market. But yeah, that was part of the problem when I lived. I thought that being in the city center, yeah, that's where you would get all the good stuff. But it turns out, a lot of these good things you can only get at those, like, big grocery stores that are, like, more outside the city. Because the grocery stores in, in Helsinki are, like, all quite small and focused just on basic stuff. What do I get if I chop this tree down? I can't remember. It was just wood. Okay. <laughs> I was hoping for like, I don't know, a little something special, you know? You just passed out in the mines because you're paying more attention to me and chat than to the game. Look, I can't, I can't be held responsible for that, all right? You're gonna have to pay the whatever... What, how much did you have to pay? It, because, like, the fine used to be a thousand. Maximum. And now I think it's fifteen thousand? It's making me rethink, like, pa you know, passing out in the mines as a strategy. You know, I kind of like this. It's kind of like we're cleaning, you know? We're just cleaning up, cleaning up shop here. What is this? There's from Fudin and Macrobios. In your closest, wait, Chitari? What is Chitari? Or Chitari? I don't know, even know how to pronounce that, Jay. I, I, the C-I, I just went Italian with Chi. Chitari. And yes, in Finnish, I, yeah, the Ravinto Hiva Hiutale. Like, how am I supposed to know that? Oh, Chitari is city market. How do you, sp is it Hitari, though, with a K sound? It must be a K sound. There's no way it's a Ch sound. Okay, that makes no sense. <laughs> I swear. Oh, it's pronounced C thought with an S sound? Oh my gosh. I like how I get so dramatic about that. It's really not a big deal. It's the it's the the hay that broke the camel's back. That's how I feel. Alright. What? Oh yeah, K means Kesko. You're kind of broke, so it was less than a thousand. Yeah. 
Well, I strategically go broke. So that then, uh, when I do go to the, the mines, I can pass out knowing I'm not losing everything. Hey look, they already set up the Trout Derby sign. This weekend, summer 20th to 21st, come prove your freshwater skills and win prizes. Any personal items found near the sign will be sent to the lost in town. Oh, when it has thumbs next to it, it means you've already read the book. But apparently, there's still value in buying it. But I haven't figured that out yet. I think it has to do with how once you get past level 10, you can keep getting experience. I have to get to level 10 in all skills before I figure out. It's there, there's like a room here in Cinder Sap Forest that opens up. Yeah, I'm really racking up fiber. This could be a good way to get the, um, the living fiber hat. What if we got it? That'd be pretty crazy, right? I've only gotten the living fiber hat. I think. Yeah, twice. Once intentionally by grinding. And that was in my original playthrough. My original file that I have almost every single item in the game on. Like all the clothing, everything. And then I also got it accidentally. I was doing a community center speed run. And I and I literally I got it on my like spring ninth or tenth. It was it was nuts. And that, that was the playthrough that we used. We played to perfection most recently. Is every I'm gonna check the saloon. Just to see who's there. Yeah, he doesn't care. Alex is like, whatever, I don't care. Hey, no, everyone's just acting normally. Everyone's acting normal. Do I need that? Nope. Nope. Is there anything here? Doesn't seem like it. You posted them on the Food Channel. I still haven't gotten my, my prismatic there. I probably will just skip. I already have five prismatics. I'll force it if I feel like... If I run out of prismatics for the upgrades that I'm doing to, like, my tools. Oh, yeah, look at that. I wonder if they're here and if people came to Joja. You bought the retro decorating catalog and it was over 100,000? Welcome to the club. I did the exact thing. I spent all my money on animals and the retro catalog. 
And you know why I got the retro catalog? For the dogs. I gotta decorate for the dogs. I mean, obviously. You think I... I'm not gonna give those dogs the best life they deserve? Yeah, good use for love. Or sorry, good use for gold. <laughs> and then I read the comment below, love love the babies. <laughs> but you know what? Dogs are a good use for love. If you're gonna give love, give it to a dog. Humans aren't always so worthy. All right, I guess we did enough here. I think we've got a pretty good haul. Oh, our starfruit wine is ready. That's nice. Prehistoric rib. Oh, we're almost done with the trash. Four more. We can probably just get it from the crab pots. Hey, where am I keeping that? Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should also... I'll upgrade my tools. That's Now is a good time probably to start doing that. Oh, but I don't... I need to sell... The wine. I'll, I'll sell the wine real quick. I don't know if this is faster or if it's faster to go like this. Oh, well, I missed, I messed up, but... Apart from that, don't. Don't judge. Oh, wow. What? Look at the clouds. I didn't notice this on the first playthrough. Oh, well, actually, it didn't happen on the first playthrough because I don't think I sold anything. First playthrough meaning the first year. I don't think I sold anything for this screen to pop up like this. Need a latte to wake you up. I'm watching like a zombie Marie. Get yourself a matcha latte. Oh, MJ, you went to walk the dogs and I t and then I talked about forcing the prismatic at the quarry. Here, I'll show you what that means. I'll do it real quick. <laughs> Basically, every day, whatever happens to be at the quarry, um, how do you, how do I explain this? Like, what, what you get from a node, whether it's just a rock node or an iron node or a mystic stone or whatever is predetermined by your game seed and the day and the tile location. So every day, it's kind of, you could think of like the tile map changes. Right, so I get, so today I get a chance. And there we go, I got it. And if I didn't get it, then I would just, I would come over here and just exit to title and then, you know, reset the day. I save scum, right? So that's, that's what it means to force the prismatic shard here. So thank you for mentioning that because now I got an extra prismatic shard. <laughs> A nice little bonus. 
and uh, I do need to buy. I want to buy another dog. I want to an adopt another dog. I don't own the dogs. I live in communion with them. All right, as their servant, I adopt them. Yeah, but yeah, that's how you do it. And yay for the prismatic, exactly. That's just how we roll. What the? Where did that come from? Mystery box, just out of nowhere. All right. I gotta get my watering can. I think we have another day or two on that. Oh, we got our jades. That's nice. Where? Oh, there it is. Check this. Okay. Tomorrow's Trout Derby, and we're going to go all out. We're going all out on the trout. So I wonder if I should... If I should buy some more trout soup just in case. Because I do have... Chowder, escargot, lobster bisque. I was planning on saving some of these, though. But yeah, we could maybe use the chowders. Plus one fishing, because we don't... We really don't need the plus two or anything. I guess it would increase bite rate. Though I'm not entirely sure if the bite rate increases with fishing level. I think it does. Pretty, I, I do think it does. But I was thinking of like, oh, should we go buy... Um, should we go, to, go buy Willy's? One more piece of trash. We'll get it. We will get it. Oops. I love the turtles. I like turtles. Oh, I gotta do this. Friday. Actually, we'll go by the traveling cart. We'll also go by um, the carpenter. I think that's a good idea. So let's bring our hardwood with us. This way. Put the gold away. Um, I like turtles. <laughs> as long as you have the trout bait, I don't really need anything else. True. Oh, I, I will craft the dressed spinners. I think that'll be good. Iron and claw. We'll do that. I like having these speed buffs, you know. Maybe I should get a horse. My biggest complaint with the horse is just like, it doesn't fit on two, like down one lane, you know, on a one tile track. It can't run on one tile tracks. It needs two tile spaces. Of course the freaking pufferfish shows up right after we needed it. Apricot. 
I mean, we're going to have plenty of apricots. I really don't need to buy one. Give me a book, please. Nope. Nothing. Don't think I need to go through town. Yeah, I'll skip Willy. Because, yeah, we've got... We got what we need. Wait, did I want to buy more animals? Did she finish the upgrade? Yeah, we upgraded the big barn, so let's buy some animals. Let's do that real quick with Marnie. Yes! We'll get a couple of goats now. Oh. Jerky. I got a goat named Jerky. And another goat named Tostito. <laughs> but, uh, wait. We're just, yeah, we're just waiting on sheep and pigs. And that's it. We could upgrade the big to the big barn. Let me look at that. What do I need for that? The deluxe barn. Just wooden stone. Yeah, okay, I'll grab some wooden stone. We'll go, we'll go to the carpenter. And we'll buy some stuff. I already got the hardwood for the dog bowl. Got that wood, got that stone. Yeah, the, uh, the Ravinto, Ravinto, evil or whatever it's called. Um, wait, what's it? nutritional yeast? Yeah, it's got a cheesy flavor to it. Pretty good. Guinea horse. Oh, there's a mod for, of course there's a mod for it. I don't, I play vanilla. I'm a vanilla guy. The goat, greatest of all time. Um, oh, make house renovations. Yes. Okay, we don't want the crib. Yeah. Boom. Blow it up with an explosion. Not to be dramatic, but... Um, open. No, well, let's keep the bedroom separate because now it's like it's its own room. You know? I like that. We got a room down there. That used to be 27's room in... The first playthrough I did with you guys, like over a year ago, maybe. It was a long time ago we did the first playthrough. Oh, whoops. Let's also... Oh, I didn't even realize it costs money. It costs money to open these rooms. What? It used to be free. Look, 150000 at a dining room? A cubby? An oh my god, there's an attic? Uh, hello? Yeah, I'm gonna add the attic. I wanna find out what that is. But hold on a second, wait, how much? I've only have, I got 300,000. I'm gonna spend all of it just. Adds a little cubby next to the front door. Adds another staircase up and a room at the top. Oh my god. That might be Tordo's room, by the way. I feel like Tordo deserves to be. The king <laughs> adds a large room to the left. Okay, I was not expecting this. I was not expecting any of this. This is crazy. How much would all of this cost? Well, 150. I think I have another round of star fruit I can plant, so I should be okay before I need to go back and buy more. But yes, let's just upgrade the house. For the, it's for the dogs. All right. So 210, 230, 240. 
Oh yeah, we got plenty of time. We're not going to open the bedroom though. All right. Remove all the items. Oh my, I have to I have to manually go and remove it. Okay, fine, fine. Um we can't do that. Let's add a corner room. <laughs> uh okay. Let's see, what else can I do? Can I add the dining room? Hey, I like that. That's nice. Um, was there another? Oh, you could open the dining room. No, I like having separate rooms right now for as maximum dog privacy. Let's add the cubby. I like that. Okay, let's, uh, what do, what do I need to buy? All right, okay, we're going to get a, another dog bowl. We need another dog bowl. What style? I feel like we need this style. Yeah, this is the one. I can already tell. Yes, that looks good. Pebbles pre prefabricated. No construction time. Um, oh, I can upgrade the house? I haven't upgraded the house fully. Well, I want to make the barn, the deluxe barn. Let's do that. For animals. It's for the animals. Um, I should actually start planning for going to Ginger Island. Wait, how much money? I got 112,000. I'm gonna bring a calendar with me to the island. I'm also gonna bring a little, a TV. Just a budget one, I like this little one. Okay, we don't need to get all these yet. The Briziers. Okay. Now, we need to get a dog. We need to get a dog. All right, we gotta go to Marnie. What's the quickest way to get to Marnie's from here? I don't know. I'm gonna guess running through my farm. That's probably not the quickest though. Ugh. You posted a picture of your room from Stardew. You remember. What, why did it come to the merchant? That was on, it was on autopilot. All right, here we go. Adopt a pet. We need a, we need it. We, we need a dog. And it needs to be this dog because we don't have this dog yet. We got one dog, we got two dog, we got three dog, we got four dog. But we don't got five dog. <laughs> am I losing my mind? A little bit. But am I losing my mind for a good reason? Absolutely. It's for the dogs. What's the name of this dog? We've got... Okay, I'm going to remind you of our dog names. We've got Snarts and Daisy, our first two dogs. We Then we got... 
Moose, shortly followed by Goose. This dog. What what should he be called? Right? It's gotta be like trailer appropriate, you know? Kind of like redneck approved dog. Dog names. Can I pet that dog? We could I mean that's one option. It could just be dog. <laughs> He's got a dog named Dog. I kind of like that. I'm going to look at the... If anyone wants to suggest a name, feel free. I'm going to... Oh, yeah, you took a picture. Or did I take the picture and screenshot it for you? I can't remember. Yeah. Yeah. Your room looks really dope, 27. I think we did a good job with the, the divider. This is in the Discord, by the way, anybody, if you're curious, you can join the Discord. There's a link in the description. Blues. A dog named Blue. That's a good name. A dog named Blue. Marie, you like dog? Let me see. How would it... Should it be blue like that? Should it be blue like that? Should it be blue like the French? Or should it be blue? <laughs> blue. A dog named Dog. I kind of like this. Like, this is also kind of a trashy dog. Like, in a good way. Like, he's a good dog. But he's kind of just a dirty dog. He's that kind of dog that he doesn't want to be inside, like, pampered and petted. He wants to be sitting in the mud all day. Like, he just is happy in the dust. That's why his um, pet bull is in that dirty little do the dog run next to the barn, right? He's a barn dog. <laughs> barn dog, like a barn owl. He's a barn dog. Oh, <laughs> blow with an X? Like, that's like a Cajun way of spelling it. That's how they might spell it down in Louisiana. B-L-E-A-U-X. Go Tigers. Yeah, you also like dog. I think we'll go with dog. I mean, another another thing could just be barn dog. <laughs> but I don't know. That's a little bit too impersonal. Like, he is a barn dog. But he's just dog. Like, maybe he actually did have... The, the backstory for this dog is that he is a rescue. Which also helps to explain why he's, like, kind of a wild dog a little bit. And uh, Juice didn't know the dog's name. And nobody really knows the dog's original name. But the dog w will respond to Daug. If you call him Daug, he responds. So that's kind of his unofficial name, is that he's just Daug. And it's kind of the, mis the mystery of, like, we don't know what his original name was, but that also out of respect, we won't try to figure it out, you know? Like, we want that dog... To leave that feel like the dog can leave that behind if it wants you know and it's taking on a new life as dog <laughs> hot dog i like it i'll send a little dog to your home right away i was on an inhaler but my doctor switched me to a nebulizer <laughs> suddenly i've given marnie a a, a breathing condition of some kind a vocal cord atrophy all right that's enough we got we got our dog <laughs> and before i forget yes what an abo dog's bowl <laughs> do, do i just look amazing right here in my oil stained shirt, sleeves rolled up, guns out. You know, with the dog run. Love it. Maybe he's in here. Yeah, there he oh we gotta find a hat for him. We gotta find a hat for dog. <laughs> Yeah, hold on, hold on. Oh, 
I want to put the party ad on him. <laughs> it doesn't really fit his personality, but it's kind of dope. Like, I feel like this hat would fit better on a cat. Like, it's a cat hat, right? I don't know. Maybe that hat right now. If we if we could go and get another hat from uh, from the hat mouse if we want, we could go get some other hats for him. But this one's kind of a derpy hat. <laughs> oh, cooter. The breathing condition. Exactly. We had an old hunting dog named Snort. That's a that's a good one. <laughs> hey, snort. It reminds me of the dog in uh, Christmas Vacation. Cousin Eddie shows up, and uh, they have the, what's I, what's the name of the dog? I can't remember. Snots, <laughs> Snots. Yeah, this is Snots. Uh, and he he's just oh he's just yakking on a bone. He got it up. What a great... I watch Christmas Vacation every year. It's like one of my favorite Christmas movies. Um, but also, yeah, I got to remember to take out uh, this. <laughs> we got to move this over there. And we also got to move... Let's see, this. Maybe down there for now. Dog. Moose. Snarts. Goose. Goose looks so, so goofy with the hat. You know, like you can't. <laughs> I love it. That's a perfect hat for Goose. Snarts. He's like, he's a good dog. Like he is, he, he listens. You know, he, he's a good dog. Goose is kind of lazy, a little fat. You know, like he's he's just living his life. He's a goofball. Moose, he's good. He's very well behaved. Slim Jim. All right. All right, let's get ready for the Trout Derb. And Daisy. Da oh my gosh, Daisy, I'm so sorry, your water. My queen, my princess. And she, the Daisy with a Daisy in her, in her uh, hair. Yeah, you the best. She's such a princess, she gets an extra water bowl. <laughs> uh, actually, I'm thinking it might be kind of interesting to take this we can go donate this to another dog does that make sense no it, it doesn't make sense it doesn't make sense but we will we will find a use for it over here in the mansion <laughs> Yeah, we have to start like decorating dog rooms. Oh my gosh, there's a lot we gotta do. All dogs get a room in the dog mansion, the dog manor. You like the yellow hat, Marie? Me too. Um, wait, literally the best Stardew character you've ever seen, aside from Julian's because it looks so absurdly like him. Oh, you, a Julian meaning like uh, Jenna Marbles in Julian? Is that the Julian you're referring to or some other Julian? I don't know. I didn't know Julian played Stardew if he did. Um, but yeah. You were watching Julian's play where he shot Evelyn? Wait, what? 
Your wife's family watches Christmas Vacation every single Christmas? Like they should. Like they should. Goose looks like your dog Alfie in real life, Marie. And it is that Julian. Dude, maybe I need to watch his playthrough. How long ago was it that he did the playthrough of Stardew? Um, wait, this party hat. What am I doing with this? I need to put it back. Yeah, Solomita, that's his name. He's still playing right now, okay. Not even through the first year! Oh, so I'm sure he's like, yeah, coming up with all sorts of fun stories. I'll put this there so I rem I don't know, I probably won't remember to take it, but it's fine. All right, we're going to go straight to the Trout Derby tomorrow. Okay, after we water the dogs. That's like the one thing we're going to do. I don't have enough space here, so I'll go. Actually, I'll do this in the morning. We'll fix our inventory in the morning. It's fine. Ready? Oh, I didn't craft the dress spinner, so we'll also do that in the morning. Okay. He shot Evelyn because she caught him going through trash. He used the slingshot, right? <laughs> oh my god. Crazy. All right, you get water. Oh, look at them all playing. I love the animals. They're like, I got to I got to get my my grass. Oh, look how good in the dog run. Oh, we're looking good. Dog. What a good dog. What a good dog. What a good dog. What a good dog. All right, enough. Now it's time. Time to go fish. Oh, but we need the cloth and iron. There. That should be enough for a day. Three. Okay. And yeah, we need the rod, the trout bait. I'll bring the fish smoker with me as well. That's probably a good idea. that away and I mean what else do I need to bring probably not much right I don't even need the pickaxe hey Alex what's up hello from Finland you're over in Sweden next door neighbor great bait maker and a chest MJ you're a genius what would I do without you I will keep the pickaxe just in case I need to like pick stuff up. No pun intended. I'm kind of intended, but we'll just forget about that. And I'll keep the deluxe bait in case I run out. I probably won't though. I'm not gonna run out. I'm not gonna bring it. 
Do I need the speed food? No. But I will be a degenerate and have it right now. Um, and then I'm just going to put it in here. And I will also bring <laughs> um, a chowder. All right. Now I got to get the smoker and maybe some of the trout. Oh, and a chest. Chest. Just one chest should be enough, right? Okay, put that away. Will, wait, will I get a fee if I pass out at 2 a.m.? Will I get charged? I've got 69,000, 6,900. Will that be the fine that I have to pay? I don't know how the fines work anymore. Yeah, I'm going to bring the bait maker. Yeah, yeah. You brought a big chest and honestly needed it. I haven't even made a big chest yet. Fine, we'll make a big chest. Don't I need copper for it? Boom. Get out the way. Here, we'll put that chest there. That should be enough. That's a beautiful big chest, by the way. I love it. Okay, let's get the bait maker. Should be here. And... And we're, I think we're set. Right? I'm all slither legs. I run through the grass, no problem. Where's the best place to fish for him? Here? Well, let me look at this. Let me, let's hear the explanation. I haven't done this event yet. During this event, rainbow trout, I gotta read in the Southern accent. Rainbow trout have a chance of carrying a gold egg. If you find one, turn it in here for a prize. Okay, that's about it. Boom. We're gonna we're we're pause buffering ourselves here. Bam. Zam. We're locked. We're locked in. No distractions. Toss that in. <laughs> this is a ridiculous amount of space. Oh my god. Uh, yes, you'll have a fee. The first gift you get, which is the same for everyone, is a tent so you can sleep there. Literally fish right beside the first guy in the green closest to the sign and looted up. <laughs> uh, okay, double check. We got, we got the bait. Do I have to turn the fish in? Because what if I want to turn them into bait? Which we'll find out. I'm taking this very seriously. You fish... Had so much fun doing this. You don't. You get to keep the fish and turn it into more bait or smoke it. Having a test is such a smart idea. I always keep the, ch the chest next to that little tree on the island. That's a good idea. <laughs> we gotta go shirtless. No, no, no. Look at that bite rate. Look at that bite rate. Oh, I sh oh, it was not a perfect. 
How do I know when I get a get oh, like? Hold on, I'm gonna talk to him again. Oh, I gotta get golden tags. Okay, I see. I'm not turning in the fish. I'm turning in the golden tags. Give me golden tag. The annual trout derby. Got it. This better have a golden tag. Better have five golden tags. God, it's five deluxe bait. This one is gold, but I assume that's not a gold tag. It's a gold star. Okay, wait, when do I get a golden tag? I've been, I've already fished, I've caught six fish and a chest. All, all trout. Dude, these, I'm like putting these guys to shame. They're catching nothing. And I'm out here casting like a real man. Oh, there, oh, there's a, oh, golden tag. We go redeem it. We go redeem it. Tent. We got a tent. Let me see here. Okay, we still have tons of the bait. <laughs> At least not a mixed seed, exactly. This is actually kind of fun. At least we're catching... Tr oh. Uh, speak of the devil. I said at least we're catching rainbow trout. Uh, when I did the squid fest, we didn't catch any squid until like the end of the day. And then it, so it didn't feel as fun. I just felt like I was fishing kind of pointlessly. You're learning so much while watching or yeah, reading through chat. Dude, that's how I learned so much when I was First plan, Stardew. Oh, I didn't get the treasure chest because the rainbow trout came up uh, along with the fishing bar. I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, I learned a ton just by watching some speedrunners and then asking questions in the chat as well in Haboo's stream. Oh, that was almost perfect. He juked me. He juked me. Okay, I've gotten one golden tag, and I've caught 12 rainbow trout. Kind of feel... Not that lucky. What's a, what's a good number of golden tags to get in a day? Look. Oh wait, I gotta read. Oh, oh no. I lost a book. Hold on, wait, someone, MJ, you said something. You feel like the chest spawn rate and the golden tag spawn rate increased significantly the later it got. Okay, yeah. 
And you're wondering if I should move to a spot that you were at next to the guy in green. Well, I kept, I've got my spot. I'm going to stick to my guns. All right. Juice doesn't, Harley Juice McGregor does not second guess himself. This is his fishing hole. You keep a, a little a chest stocked with food and everything. Yeah. You had 12 on your first day. Maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah, you respect the gun, stick a G. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what is that? I don't even know what that means. You respect the gun, stick a G. Like s sticking to your guns. The gun stickage. Is that what you meant? The gun stickage. I respect the gun stickage. Okay. I like that triple shot. I'll take it. I'll take triple shot. guys are outclassed. I mean, you can't compete with a man who shows up at a fishing competition dressed like this. <laughs> you know, you show up at the Trout Derby and you see this man, Go, just go home. <laughs> Save yourself the embarrassment. That man was born to fish. Right here. This man lives with a worm bin in his motorhome trailer. Alright, in a van down by the river. Sun's out, gun's out, baby. It's time to go. <laughs> you make up your own lingo. Well, no, I liked it. It's just that you had, you typed it in a way that I read it differently. Because you added, well, no, you didn't add, you repeated certain letters for emphasis. But I thought maybe they meant something different. But I like that. I respect the gun stickage. I feel like that's something my brother would say. Hey, yes. Look at that. We got another... Oh, no, no, no. No, stop. Stop casting. Stop making a fool of yourself. Juice. Okay, let's get our next reward. Get quality sprinkler. I mean, I have to say, I do like this as an addition to the game. It adds a way to get loot that doesn't involve combat. Which I think combat is overrepresented in games. Uh, and so, like, I mean, it's fun to go to the mines and do all of that, but this, I think, is kind of. It's its own thing, you know? It's fun. It's another way to make fishing more rewarding. Oh, another one! Oh my god! Oh, wait. Stop. The warp totems, I got so many of these. Okay. <sighs> yeah, what does that mean, Jay? <laughs> sticking to your guns. Gun stickage is the act of sticking to your guns. The, the noun the noun form it could also be like gun stick <laughs> yeah I don't know I say okay weird American lingo it does feel like more of an American thing to say to add the a g e ending to a verb to make it a noun, like to stick to your guns, gun stickage. Come on now, come on! Now. Oh, I, oh, I got it. I got too much in character and accidentally <laughs> pressed the button. Yeah, I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'm juice. 
I skipped the fifth grade. Juice had such a high IQ, he just skipped fifth grade. So he knows. But he never went to... He never got a university degree. He didn't see the point in it. And he also, like, suffered some sort of, like, personal tragedy that prevented him from, you know, like, he had to, like, work during those years to, like, help support a family member or some somebody in need. Or maybe not even a family member, but, like, a, a best friend from his neighborhood. His best friend's, like, mom had cancer or something, and his best friend died in, like, a pickup truck accident. Oops. I cast it out. I'll catch it. Yeah, we're getting some, like, serious lore for... for Juice. Alright, we got some Omni Geodes. A bucket hat? Oh, yes. That's for a dog. It doesn't fit him. But it might fit a dog. <laughs> so the idea is I can I can deploy the tent kit and and then use that tonight instead of passing out. You got around 12 in your first day because you were thinking about the squid tournament. And you thought, oh, you need more than 10. You knew this was a Chris Farley reference. Exactly. I'm glad I'm glad you got it. <laughs> that was actually what inspired the whole thing. I don't know. I saw I saw the Meadowlands farm and I immediately saw the river. No, actually, I saw the camper van. I was going through some of the, the assets on the wiki. I was looking at the, the wiki and I saw that there was the camper van trailer and i'm like i want to live in that and then i thought of chris farley and i'm like in a van living in a van down by the river and the meadowlands farm has a river it was perfect oh my gosh juice get a hold of yourself he's look he's a little excited he's a little ex i should have brought more dressed spinners because if i spend the night then i'm gonna i won't have enough dress spinners for the for tomorrow as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, a crab pot. Don't, didn't need it. How am I doing on bait? Oh, 36, okay. Twinsies with Linus, with your tent to go. I'm gonna get that. Hey, we got another golden tag. What is it? Mystery boxes. Those are sometimes pretty good. What? A chub? That's new. Yeah, I didn't come prepared to spend the night. I don't have another fishing thing. Like a fishing buff for tomorrow. Diamond in the rough. Twenty-eight. 
What are red mushrooms used for in the game? The, there are two red mushrooms that you can use in the Community Center bundles. One on the bulletin board, and then one in the pantry? Or is it the crafts room? And, uh... You can also eat the red mushrooms if you want to die. <laughs> and this is also useful in speed Um If passing out is quicker... Uh, then trying to go home, you could just eat some red mushrooms. And that's also a quicker way of killing your energy than uh, trying to exhaust yourself by using, like, your pickaxe over and over. I'm trying to remember what else they're used for. If they're, like... Well, I do know that those the big red mushroom trees that grow, you can get a red mushroom hat by chopping down those trees. But it's kind of rare. I don't think you can cook them in any recipes. Uh-oh. I need to get more more tackle. Dude, look how much slower it is. That felt that felt like a long wait. Oh, double mystery box. All right. Oh, yes, a mounted trout. I like it. I, I Now I understand why you uh, said to bring the chest. This is crazy. Yeah. You have the bucket hat on your dog right now and think he's the same dog as yours. It's really cute because it almost completely covers his eyes. I like that. You can make a life elixir and a headscarf with the red mushroom apparently. So, there are uses, but yeah. Perfect addition to the camper van, you're right. It would fit so well in the little motorhome. I like it's the same fish here. Oh wow, I gotta I gotta eat something. Oh, you can speak to the other fishermen as well. True. Well, I am here to win. All right. I'm here to win the derby. But I will say, I think I'm going to go home instead of using the tent. Mainly because I want to get more of the dressed spinners. Yeah.
Yeah, I need to make more dress spinners. I want to get some more fishing food. Oops. And I can save the tent for uh, Ginger Island. You would, your husband and you would hitch your caravan to the car and take off. Some of the best holidays you ever had, Marie. It does sound like a good one. Do you think we should get, we should be able to cook poisonous meals and feed them to people we don't like? Who would you feed? I think Clint would very quickly die in everybody's playthrough. I have caught so many fish. <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous. Oops. Dang it. This thing tricked me. I heard the noise. Give me a golden tag. I haven't gotten one in a while. There we go. Thank you. You just gotta ask. You gotta ask nicely. Oh, it's just deluxe bait. Man, Stardew is so much fun. I have been streaming so much the past couple days. Well, today and yesterday. I will use the warp totem to go home. I also need to take care of my animals. I'll have you remember I have dogs that rely upon me. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I needed the anchor. That's good. I should bring the smoker as well, and then I can smoke the fish, right? See, I do have the, the farm warp totem, so I'm going to use that, actually. Oops. Yeah. 
save the tent for Skull Caverns. That's another good idea, actually, yeah. They could also get, uh... What is it? Just the Desert Warp Totems. I have a lot of Iridium now. I just need to get my combat up so I can make the Iridium Bands. See, the fishing tackle wore out. Yeah, I need four. I need four dressed spinners. I thought three was enough. Crazy. Yeah, Ginger Island, I think I'll use it. Though, you know, you can get uh, the walnuts quick enough to unlock the farmhouse on Ginger Island on the first night. It's not that hard. But, oh, dang it, why did I do that? I saw, I'm getting confused with the bait machine. But yeah, I need to. Hey, I needed this. I got two uh, artifacts that I needed just from fishing today. Oh, and we got a golden tag. I like it. More triple shot. Hey, another golden tag. I mean, that'll be useful on Ginger Island. The more quality sprinklers I get, the better. Um, what? Oh, in Cornwall, in Somerset. That's where you went, Marie. I would miss... You would feed it to the, the poison to Harvey because... You, you you married him, and he still charges you, oh, if you pass out in the mines. <laughs> Gotta love it. Gotta love Harvey. Doesn't give a family discount. You've still got separate bank accounts. All right, I'm going to get going here in a second when it's 1.30. And we got Bream. Maybe I'll leave a lot of this because it's kind of curious just to see all the loot that I end up with. 
leave the bream here. I'll leave that. I do want to take... Uh, I'll take the rod with me. Take my pickaxe. <sighs> this is... yeah. Okay. Oh, I hope I can get home in time. I guess I could go to sleep here. I'll sleep with the dogs, yeah. We'll sleep with the dogs. We've made it, 150. <laughs> there we go. All right. It's go time, baby. First of all, give me that. I need more cloth as well. I, I have it though, I know where it is. I'm thinking about other stuff that I need. Oh, the smoker. I got two smokers. And we need maybe some more fishing food buffs. Okay. I love you. I love you, Daisy, you're my favorite. Okay. I need where? <laughs> wait, oh, it's over here. I'm like, wait, I don't... Yeah, one of these. A couple coffees. Oh, yeah. I'll bring the escargo. Or the chow... I mean, the chowder worked really well. I'll do another chowder. Since we have it. Well, we've got the iridium rod. We need to make four dressed spinners. So that's, yeah, eight iron bars and four cloth. Or sorry. Yeah, yeah. I have to do this. I have to take the trash to the recycling bin. <laughs> God! Linus! Can't you... Hey, we can do it quickly, though. We'll use some warp totems. Alright. We've got a mountain warp totem. We'll go mountain, and then we'll warp back to the farm. I need to get all the trash. Um, what trash is, like, the least valuable? Probably the driftwood. Oh, wait, I didn't get the, um, I forgot. Yeah. Okay. Really quickly, I'm going to water the animal bowl. Got so many dogs to water. Okay. I don't know why I'm not using my speed buffs. I should have been doing that a while ago. I like how I'm treating this trout derby like like it's a skull caverns run. I'm so into Oh, oh, I forgot. I need to get uh Oh no, I didn't mean to press that. Look, don't ask questions. I'm going to bring all of it, actually, with me. I'll just craft them when I get there.
The animals are blocking my way. Typical animals. Alright, well, we're here by 8 a.m., so it's not a big deal. Alright. Oh, wait, I don't know. I just did a weird circle here. Okay. This away. Too late. We're not we're not smoking any fish today. <laughs> I forgot the coal. I can't believe it. Sorry, right, 27, have a good one. That's true. It's 10 o'clock here, so <clears throat> I probably should wrap up after this, after this day. It'll probably be a good stopping point because there's a lot of transitions. Like we're gonna go to Ginger Island, which would be a good good thing to do on the next stream. We still got like, we gotta unlock that the room once we get to level 10 combat. One night you got high and set up a tent for all your cats. They came inside overnight. When you went to get the tent the next day, all the wild cats had peed on it. <laughs> what? I don't even know what. Okay, we're ready. Oh wait, no. Eat the chowder. And let's go. I was trying to think of crazy camping stories I've had in Boy Scouts one summer camp. It was like the last night. Uh, and because it was a summer camp, we were staying in tents that were already provided like on the property. And there were these old like military... Oh shoot, hold on. That was close. Old military tents that were like these A-frame tents. Uh, and the corners of the tents were open. Like, they're, they're, like, the flaps would actually open up. And so, I remember me and another guy from my troop, Christian, we were in a tent. And then suddenly, I hear a noise. And I look up, and I see, like, a, like a skunk. Like, a baby skunk. It looked like a baby skunk. Like, it was too small to be a skunk, but it had the same pattern. So it looked like a baby skunk. Hold on. Oh, what the- oh my- is this the luckiest treasure chest or what? Mystery box, deluxe bait, mystery box, iron ore, jewels of the sea. We'll save this. And a golden tag. I like it. More warp, warp totems. Actually could be useful. Um, anyways. But I just remember I telling my friend, I go, I'm like, Christian, there are skunks in our tent. And he goes, no, no, you're just messing with me. 
and he was afraid so he actually covered his his head and he's like you're just messing with me and i'm like no dude it's and it was on his side of the tent as well and then he started freaking out because he thought i was uh scratching at his sleeping bag but it was actually the baby skunk and then more baby skunks came in like a little troop of them came in we had like five baby skunks coming in and so we both started kind of freaking out and laughing we were like oh my god you know like what do we do and our our scout master came over and he's like i thought i told you boys to shut up <laughs> and then we were like there's skunks in our tent he goes there are skunks and he looks he goes there are skunks in your tent and so he's like get out of the tent and so i i jump out of the tent and then uh but christian he is still wrapped in his sleeping bag sealed like he has sealed it over his head <laughs> and the scoutmaster was like christian you need to get out of that tent now and christian's like oh, i don't know i don't know and so he stands up in his sleeping bag and jumps out like in a like he hops out of the <laughs> it was i don't know it was such a funny moment and it was the last night of summer camp too so it was summer camp was such a a, a good thing i guess i don't know i i really love doing these summer camps all right whoops i meant to come over here we got some omnis. What else? Another bu another bucket hat. I don't need another bucket hat. Um, but yeah, a scraggly looking possum at the bus stop that you saw the other day. But yeah, that was one of those memories because, I mean, nobody else can say that they had skunks. And it turns out they weren't technically skunks, but they were related to skunks. So they could actually spray skunks. I can't remember what they were called. It was a, it was a something cat. A something something cat. Yeah, they were called cats. I, don't, I, I, I really don't know. But yeah, but and as I were still remember like Christian and I, because there was one that came in that was a bit bigger, and I was like, and then a bunch of smaller ones came in, and I was like, it's a mama skunk and her babies, and then Christian was freaking out. He was like, he was like, yeah, he couldn't, he couldn't take it. <laughs> He's like, no, get them out, get them out. You're just messing with me. He's like, stop scratching at my sleeping bag. And I remember telling him, I go, how am I scra scratching your sleeping bag if I'm standing all the way over here talking to you and the scratching is happening right now next to you? And he was like, you do have a point. <laughs> and oh man, then the Scoutmaster was like, by that point, Scoutmaster was woken up and he just was... He, was, he went straight from being really mad at us for making noise to then being like, oh crap. They actually have skunks in their tent. I, you know what? I don't remember what happened after that. I don't know if we stayed in that tent or if we moved to a different tent. All the tents were the same, so it could have happened. It, it could have happened again that same night to somebody else. But yeah, we had a story to tell on the car ride home. Yeah, we don't have skunks or possums here in Finland. Nature is a lot nicer here, except for the mosquitoes. The mosquitoes here are brutal, and the ticks.
Like, to be honest, if I, if you were giving me the option and I had to choose between being stung by a scorpion or bit by a tick, I would choose a scorpion. Because of the diseases. Like, tick diseases are awful. Hope I need to replace my tackle. I remember my cousin got stung by a scorpion because I grew up in Texas. And, uh, my, yeah, my cousin lived a bit more out in the countryside on like five acres. Hold on, let me, let me do this real quick. Okay. And they had scorpions, like, in the house. You know, they, they get everywhere. And so the thing with the scorpions is that, yeah, you don't realize that they're right there until you touch them and they sting you. But I remember we would go, like, hunting for scorpions. We're not, like, hunting them, but, like, looking for them. You would just go out in the backyard and turn over some rocks and you'd find a scorpion. But in, we, in, we, we had armadillos in Texas. Armadillos are the coolest little creatures. We had another crazy experience in Boy Scouts with them. Where a little troop of armadillos came, like we were walking kind of, I don't know. I think we were probably doing an orientation thing where we had to like use our compasses to cross through terrain. Kind of like what, it, uh, it's a big thing here in Finland, orienteering. But it was different in Boy Scouts. It wasn't like a race. Uh, we just were just going from point to point using our compasses. And then uh, a group, like a whole family of armadillos came walking towards us. And so we just kind of stopped. Hold on, let me get, let's see what we get. And the armadillos did not stop. They just kept coming. So we're just sort of like, I guess we just stand here. You know, and so we just stood there. Nobody moved, and the armadillos, like, just walked over our feet through the grass. Like, they were just walking between our legs. Just like they were on a mission, and they didn't care that we existed. We just... It was actually really cute. The armadillos are just, like, they're really cute up close. But be careful, because actually, they, uh, I think that they, they might carry some diseases and uh or they could carry diseases and uh and i think also yeah they they can deliver a pretty nasty bite so i mean i know i'm giving advice like you guys live in texas or something you encounter armadillos but just i mean even if an animal doesn't give you a nasty bite just leave it alone right You would pass out if you saw a scorpion, Marie. They're really not that scary. Because they don't move. Like, they aren't like other insects or even like spiders, you know. They don't like scurry. And maybe they do a little bit, I don't know. Maybe it depends on the context. But they're usually just kind of like pretty chill. The problem is that they will climb into your shoes. And if you put your shoes on without shaking them out, you could get a scorpion sting. I, that never happened to me. Like, it's super rare. And you would have to leave your your shoes, like, outside. It's It wouldn't happen, like, in your home. And the scorpion stings aren't that bad. What the? Wait, stop. Stop doing that, Juice. What are you doing? 
<laughs> Juice. I get confused with the the keyboard. I'm sorry, I gotta catch up on chat. But I'm also focused on fishing. I can't read and uh and fish at the same time. Wait, you went to 4-H camp. What is 4-H camp? And yeah, tick diseases are so diverse and scary. Oh, foxes, yeah. Dude, I have not gotten like any good tags today. Golden tags. I got like four. Wait, you had a skunk steal something? Hold on, I gotta read the rest of that message. Steal your hot dogs off the picnic table. Hey, you finally got... I feel like I got all the special rewards. You know? I feel like we've kind of maxed out the rewards. Yeah, there's nothing you can do with skunks. Unless you want to get sp uh, sprayed, or risk getting sprayed. I know the real problem is that people's dogs get sprayed, right? If the dogs don't know. I'll take that dino egg, thank you. Yeah, Jay, you see armadillos every day. Well, now you know. You know how to deal with them if they approach you. Don't pet them. There we go. Wait, do I have coal? I do have coal. <laughs> I forgot that I got coal from, like, a treasure chest. So let's, uh... I'll get some smoked fish we can eat. I like this. Look at us. Look at all these noobs over here. Not prepared. I show up with a bait maker, two fish smokers, an extra large chest. Making you guys look like fools. Oh, please, please. Okay, I got it. Catching diamonds like it's nothing. Murray, you hate bug snakes and have a fear of sharks, even in games. Yeah, we, our pho phobias are real, you know? Phobias... It's like a it's like a part of our evolution in a way. Like so many people across so many cultures have a phobia of like spiders and poisonous things. Just curious. Okay, this would give me plus 20 health, 45 energy, 68 energy. I like that. Yeah, that actually pretty smart. I'm fishing and smoking. Fish smoking, that is. I'm not smoking. <laughs> smoking, smoking. Old fashioned smoking. What do we get? I will take the triple shot. That's actually a decent reward. 
I never focus on chat. I know. You probably wrote that message like 10 minutes ago. It's not my fault, like here, alright? I have to pause the game to read chat. I don't know how I don't know how other streamers do it. I'll take I'll take the, the sprinkler, that's nice. A striped pole cat. Is that what it was? That doesn't ring a bell. It was a different it was a different name. It might have been the same thing, but just a different name that we used for it. Wait. What reward? Oh, I got the three uh whatever. Farm warp totems. 4-H is the Amer America's largest largest youth development organization. Empowering 6 million people with the skills to lead for a lifetime. a Dorado. A pike. They're so cute. It's a normal thing in the south. Wait, what did what did the four H's stand for? I'll take the Omnis. Oops, press the wrong button. We have it here in Finland as well. Well, I would have you guys know I had a I had pet snakes when I was a kid. Yeah, I loved having pets. Fish. The fishing buff has worn off. Now it's just. I mean, I do appreciate the dedication of these other fishermen. You know, they don't go home, even though they they kind of suck at fishing. <laughs> Another bucket hat. Oops. I kind of feel like I've maxed out the rewards from this. In terms of time, I don't know if it's really worth doing the Trout Derby. Like, for what you get out of it, versus the real time it takes to play. It's not bad. But it kind of sucks that you get the same gifts multiple times, you know, just like the, 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 the bucket hat and the fish, whatever. Crab pot. The 4-H pledge. Oh, that's actually quite nice. I like that. I read the pledge, that is. That's what the four H's stand for. It's like head, heart, hands, and health. Very nice. It sounds way too intense, Jay says. Jay's like, I don't like that. It sounds like a cult. <laughs> I'll just wait till you uh, 
They're Boy Scouts, you know? Here are the Scout Oath. I pledge allegiance. I, I mean, I liked the pledge. I think it's it sounds it's like I don't know. It doesn't. It doesn't sound. It it sounds well intentioned, you know, and it it's it's very like what's the word ecumenical, right? It's not like oh you have to be a patriot to America and to Christianity, you know, in a in this very, like, narrow sense. This might be my last cast before I pack it up. And we end it with the best gift, the mounted trout. Oh my gosh. Energy's at seven. <laughs> Thinking about the stuff that I definitely want to bring back. Yeah. I will use one of these. Mounted trout. I'll take one back. I guess I'll leave the fish here. Take the ore and everything. This. I could leave the dress spinner, probably. The bucket hats. Oh my gosh. I'll take one back. For now. Look how many rainbow trout I caught. Was I mean, even just this is over a hundred, right? A hundred and one, and a bunch of I probably caught like a hundred and twenty-five, maybe more, because I smoked some. I turned a bunch into bait. We don't do that stuff here, <laughs> Jay. <laughs> oh, Marie, if you see pictures in books, you can't touch the book if there's like snakes in it or other creatures. I have. Uh, Way too much. With the rainbow trout there. This. Uh, take that. And all, I guess I can hold on to that. I need to take that to Gunther. There's 
I guess I'll also put this book here. The cloth there. And this dino egg, I do need to make this into mayo. How do I do that? Where's my mayo machines? I probably have them over, yeah. Just give me a second. Give me a second. I'm almost done. I just need to grab my jade. I want to get set up so that the next time, because this will be my last night. And then I'm going to log off here in a second. I'm so tired. The dino egg, we want to... Where? Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah. some dino mayo oh yeah oh wait no I don't actually need to bring that out Yeah, there we go. All right, I'm a little slow right now. My brain is fried. It doesn't help I've got like multiple Lots I'm trying to go through. <laughs> you can't really see it, but it's there. It's crowded. Okay. That's good. I just want to see the calendar. Another successful... Another successful day. I'm not going to play the day, but I just want to step outside. See my dogs. We're living the dream here on the Van Life Farm. In the camper van. Servant to the dogs. But let me catch up. What what were you guys saying? We're gonna have the whole farm squad rocking bucket hats. That's true. <laughs> uh, it's the my country, my world part. That sounds intense. But definitely good meaning behind it. Yeah. You're getting your caravan in Stardew. Have a good one, Marie. You're like one of those guys that shows up at a football game with a full RV grill and astro turf. Yep, that's me fishing. I'm prepared. Like, he was a Boy Scout. Let's just be real. Juice was a Boy Scout. For sure. You're from Mississippi and talk way too much into everyone. Sounds about right. <laughs> I had, in Texas... I had neighbors from Mississippi, and oh my gosh, they were wild. They were crazy kids, but they became like our best friends because they like their kids were the same age as us growing up. But we were only neighbors for like three years, which is kind of sad because they were a really cool family. 
but they were very Mississippi. Like the kids were just running around without shoes on, which is a normal thing, right? But man, they would take it to an extreme. They were like, let's have a competition to see who can stand on the asphalt the longest in the, in the Texas summer. And of course they would win because they were, they were nuts. Their feet didn't feel pain. <laughs> they would play basketball without shoes on. It was crazy. But yeah, that's Mississippi for you. What can I say? They went to Ole Miss. You're from the Pacific Northwest now. Or you're in the Pacific Northwest. And they don't either. It's so weird for you not to say hi to someone. Actually, uh, Miss Hito... I, when I went to um, I went to Washington State, and I went to we went to Victoria as well. And I I can't remember where this was. It was it, whether it was in Seattle or in Victoria. But uh, we uh, I remember we went to some like food truck or something. And I was still like in high school. I was still a Southern little boy, and the the woman that was like serving us asked like if i wanted something like this or that on i don't know it's like a hot dog who knows and i replied yes ma'am and she goes please don't call me ma'am <laughs> i was like <laughs> because growing up in texas you had to refer to everyone as ma'am or at least growing up in the kind of environment that i did i suppose you know but yeah i thought it was pretty fun the pacific northwest she thought that i that i was treating her like she was an old lady and she was she was like 24 you know probably but still that was much older than me i was probably like 16 at that time so i was yeah i said yes ma'am it would be so weird to say that here in Finland. That would be so confusing. But yeah. You just got over being homeless. Oh, I'm sorry you were homeless, but congratulations. I won't leave your place for weeks at a time. I don't blame you. But get outside and touch grass occasionally. Get some exercise. And Stardew Valley makes you feel... Really like having your own little place that no one can take away. I agree. I feel the same. I feel the same. Yeah, even if the internet goes down. Hey, but it's been going great right now. My stream has been struggling yesterday and I think the day before. Nothing irks your nerves more than someone getting offended for calling them ma'am. <laughs> Yeah, it was an interesting exchange. But yeah, that... He was not happy I called her ma'am. I mean, that was also a long time ago when that happened, so I don't know what it would be like nowadays. You don't do the ma'am sir thing either. And I actually really like that about Finland, that pretty much everyone's on a first name basis. It's really chill. You don't have to worry about being respectful or not. Because it's not disrespectful to call someone by their first name. Why would that be disrespectful? That's their freaking name. But yeah, it's, it's a different world growing up in the South. Uh, but yeah. In Finland, I, I, all the teachers are just on their first names with the students. It's really cool. I like it. Yeah. Aw, my dogs. But yeah, before we get into uh, cultural analysis <laughs> and comparison, I, I need to sign off uh, because I am tired. We have a lot of work to do. What can I say? I mean, we did another long stream today. I've been going over eight hours. I did 10 hours yesterday and 8 hours today. Tomorrow I do a Finnish language learning stream, so if you're interested, I do that at 7 o'clock Finland time. We just went through a time change, so the time difference, I don't know. Is it 
with the US. It's a different we we do our time change at a different time. On a different weekend, I guess. But yeah. I'll be back. And then of course we will be back. Van Life Farm. I need to I really need to get this combat up to level 10 so that we can finally unlock the whatever room and and get to Ginger Island and just yeah, really knock out the rest of uh, perfection. Because we are kind of ahead on some things, I feel like. The collections, I feel like fish, we've done pretty well with. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy there. And maybe these won't take too long. Who knows? Yep. All right, guys. Have a good one. Thanks for hanging out and chatting and doing the trout derby with me and having all sorts of antics with Farley, a.k.a. Juice McGregor. Here on Van Life Farm, we add, we added a couple new dogs today. Always a good a good feeling when you add dogs to the family. I'll see you guys in the next one. Good night.